Okay. Wow. I I don't know what's been going on today. It's been a mess. It really has been a mess. I've been having issues with my audio setup, trying to block the sun from entering my house. I switched the camera position up to here so at least I can have that. Um, I have some issues with you, I, this, this, you guys seeing this stuff. I, I, even though I told you cannot, but you know, I'm a loving person. And I would definitely make sure so you will feel comfortable. Other than that, um, yeah, well, just see, man, we're going to have some fun. Let's take a Zell is saying good morning, morning, mate. Morning, mate. Uh, um, currently live at which. Let's take a look. What has changed? Um, it, it, uh, yes, oh man, last week. No fun at all, man. No fun at all. It's been busy. Uh, very busy, and this week is not going to be any different. Working. I like what they've done here. They keep changing the house, which is cool. I like it. Uh, yeah, I need to start working on this. I I didn't at all. Full void just completed. What else? 102 members. Oh. He planted some onions in the flowering pot. Well, that's nice. A million socialites. No one over there. Uh, we don't have any buffs on, which I definitely think is. And um, we're saving up the mostly effort. Execute that. And execute that. So there is a thing. There is a thing. Uh, I got the red mage, and I'm not really sure about it, but good. You help me with a red mage rotation at level 50. Uh, not, not 509, 50. Awesome. It's also quite weird that you don't see my desk. It's actually this part. It's so cool. I love broadcast for that, man. Um, I'm at the house. Is it raining? What's that annoying? Let's take a look here. I think it's... Why that? Wave back. Um, so, how do I start this? So, you know the basic. Nope. Um, guest MP. And then melee, cast MP melee. Oh. I think that's that's like the basics, uh, which I think would be like
Start with Joel because it's faster. Okay. Unless Velvet Stone of Fire is already ready. Okay, so start with Jolt. I'm not getting enough of the white stuff. 17. Uh, let's see. Unless Velvetstone is ready, there's always a chance it will activate after. Okay. So after jumping back, things we don't usually use in parties because only you do. Ah. Uh, makes sense. Okay, so I need to flip this. And the reason for this is because this is the first one. And this this so this is more like a, a, a mental image. Scatter it feels like it's like your jolt. Stop. Okay, dual cast. What is this then? Acceleration. Ensures the next velvet on can be cast immediately. Wait, 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 wait. Is this. Acceleration. Dual cast. I fucked it up with the jolt, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really effed that up. So, acceleration... Do I have mana font? Uh, I don't think so. I need lucid dreams in there. I think I think I need lucid dreams. Uh, Manification. Uh, nope. Ah no. Level sixty indeed. Um. So let's see if I can do it with tap right X tap acceleration. Jolt. Does this have a can? No, this is instant. So your combo is the free sword attacks, repose, then some other thing I can't uh, read. Okay, okay, enchanting ones depending. Acceleration is if you don't have fire or stone, you can use acceleration to. F oh. Oh. Okay.
Government wants depending on you. Okay, so can I reset this? So I start with Jolt. Now I have double cast. Now I can use acceleration. This is so weird. So jolt. Okay, now I have stone. And I keep getting the dual cast. Okay, this rotation is going to be annoying. And now I don't have it. Don't have any other choice to go in. Smack. 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 Don't use backwards option. Why? That's actually quite weird, isn't it? Okay, dual cast. Stone, no stone acceleration. Thunder. Fire, Jolt. No acceleration again. Let's go with Jolt. Dual cast. Velvet Fire. No dual cast. Yeah, man, the displacement is absolutely insane. 15 yams. Yeah, I get what people say you can't do it. Uh, Fesh could also use when they're available, though making it appear like you always do something. After Arrow or Thunder, you can weave Fleece in to go with Stone. You're able to start using the next jolt before you finish the animation of fleece or concentrate. Of what? Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what's that skill? Contra? Oh, Contra sex at 76. I don't have it. Deliver an attack with a potency of 360 to a target. This might be something, guys. Like, this is handy. I think we might need to duplicate. Wait, is that also... Not sure. Well. I'll give it... <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so, let's see, how would I place in my AoE? I could move this down. I feel like the Red Mage has a lot of button options. Embolden. Oh wait, it's separate. Look at this. So these are all your melee attack. Velvet Flare. Oh, there we go. So Velvet Flare. Ve Vert Flare is... Your AoE for this skill. Holy will most likely go in stone. Yeah. I want to move this down. I don't like this button to be anywhere there. So we'll move this downwards. Enchanted this. What does this do? 
It's a weapon skill. Molly needs. Yeah, this this class uses a lot. Damn. Uh, you need to go like this. And scatter. A 45 we get for taste. For cure. Restores a target's HP? <laughs> a target HP? Wait, wait, wait. I, I am no fucking healer. I don't have the mint for that, right? Wait, what's my mint? On my mind. 225. Okay, okay. Man. I will have to grow into this class a lot. You also don't need to save swift gas for the reason you can use it. Yeah. Will we, do we use Lucid Dreaming? I'm not sure if you're in like watching this. But, um, but so do, do we use lu lucid dream? I don't want to get rid of it. If we don't use it, then that would be fantastic. Yeah, we do use it, but it's not necessary. Okay. And we don't need it right over here. We can use it somewhere else. So at least that frees up a slot for some of the actions. I just don't like using my control key. I don't know why. I'm always so used to using my shift. That using my control like 8. That's going to be awkward. When people start dying, you're going to be losing MP quickly. <laughs> Unless you are raising. Wait, I can raise? Oh, fuck, no way, dude. Oh, come on. I must have skipped over it then. Post shot intelligence post, uh, but earlier levels, regular HP post will be okay. I've never used a potion in my life. How do I say a race? I have a cure spell, I don't have a race. True, that's true. Well, I'll give it a try. Thing. Thanks, mate. Oh, one more thing. If you have a moment before the next encounter, you will always cast Vacuum. So that your next fast cast attack is already when the battle begins. 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. So vacuum. Apparently, it gives you. Huh? Uh, wait, wait. A, a traits, dual cast. Any spell, of course. Any spell. Yeah. Yeah, true. Oh yeah, that that would be very very clever. So if I do fleece, it would give me dual cast, right? No, it's an ability. That's an ability. So jolt. But now it doesn't. Acceleration. And go in. Don't don't do that. This is going to mess me up. Thank you. Well, I, I appreciate it, man. Ah, thank you. For your guidance. Guidance. Can't see order filter on. Yeah, that's fine. Time to get started! Let's go! That will do! Okay, let's go and finish what we started like last time. Because last time we did have a lot of issues. And by that, I was actually eyeballing my dogs there for a second. Um, with that, uh, I had audio issues. Major, major audio issues. Uh, let's get that going. And we'll, uh, we'll try this red mage thing out. Although, I, don't, I got the earrings, like all of these, the jewelry. I still need to get to 130. Uh, I'll have to do it gradually. I can't really do it right off the bat. I just don't have the tomes. I'm definitely skipping my mark here. Redwald. Uh, Lord Atrell, Miss Fix. Full glad to see you both hale and healthy. What news? You mean to say you hunted heretics down on your own and slew them before reinforcements could arrive by the fury? I believe we have the greatest strides towards purging this land of heretics and I mean to say as much. And I mean to say as much when I deliver my report to my father and the Holy See. He's like, oh you fucker. As will I, Lord Antronel. May I serve to remind... May it serve to remind our superiors what houses during there and for the could achieve to continued cooperation. There's also one thing I need to add in here real quick. In a second. Indeed, I trust you and your knights are content to handle the rest. Wow, he's like... Certainly, my lord. During your short time with us, you and Miss Vix have com accomplished far more than I could thought possible. I cannot in good conscience impose upon you any longer. Pray return to Ishgard with my thanks. As you wish, Sir Redward, we thank you for your hospitality. Hospitality? What hospitality? 
can't. I can't more, man. Yeah, I was um, going to be adding... Like, this alert box needs to go. And I'm going to be adding another one. Browser source. The one that's from um, Twitch itself. Twitch alerts. Place you down over there. Lock you up. And then remove these alerts. And, and I will do the rest later, you know, at a, at a different time. Uh, let us go back to Ishgard. And these are, the ec these are the extreme quests I still need to do. I just don't want to be reminded of it. I also... I will eventually do this, this weapon. I don't... I'm not sure, man. Not sure. Uh... Oh yeah, this is the one from the X. Ultimate Ballot. I've done this one by accident at one point. No, it's not true. Well, whatever. Knights to be proud. Let's go back to the foundation. I might need to send these ships out, uh, because the, um, uh, also, what goals do we have for the ships? If right, let's go to uh, Lost Vigil. There we go. I would speak plain. From the first sight, I questioned your motives and your competence unjustly, I now realize. Rumors have a way of growing more fantastic as they spread. And quite frankly, those surroundings you beggar believe... Wait, wait, wait. And quite frankly, those surroundings you beggar believe... That's a weird sentence for me. But Anshifan swore that all the stories were true. He championed your cause and begged Father to grant you patronage. And he... Dully... And he dully listened because of all his wisdom. Wow, he is so good. He has never been able to say no to my dear half-brother. The legacy of my father's soul in discretion. Mother hated him, of course. Even on her deathbed, she refused to acknowledge him. And, to be honest, she was not alone in her feelings. But that is not the worst of it. At Camp Riversmith, where we came upon a wounded knight, I knew immediately that one of us would have, the, have to pursue the heretics alone. And Oranus, an Oranus task, Frank... Uh, fracked with danger and there you were the savior of Eorzea the honored guest of House Photon my new comrade in arms Orshifon's dear friend I told myself it would be a test but part of me part of me hoped that you would fail yet you accepted the task without a word of protest nor any sign of fear and your dolly tracked and you Dully tracked the enemies down, faced them alone, and lived to tell the tale. Plainly, Anshifar had the right of it all along, and I doubted your strength. And I doubt that your strength bespeaks my own weakness. Man, these, these guys talk funny. But I will not doubt you again. On that, you have my word. And here I am, looking like... Weird. Uh, what do we have? Piety, critical hit, spe spell speed. Let's go with spell speed. Uh, 
okay? Now, I think from here on out, this is where the actual story begins. Divine Intervention. We get the Etherite Compass, we get the Black Chocobo Whistle. So yeah, this is actually where we get started. Cool. Ah, Miss Fix. My lord, the Count would desire to speak with you regarding your time with Lord Artunel and Lord Emmanuel. If you would remain here for a moment. I also think I need to add like the a hero light. Returns. I cannot thank you enough for saving young Emanelaine's life. Emanelaine. Aye, aye, he told me everything. Yeah, you smacked him for it. I wish to be there. I've also received letters from both House Zamile and Durandere praising your conduct and that of House Forton. You've won as much honor, my friend. Ah, we aim to please. My lord. Oh? What is it? Speak. Oh, immediately? Like, oh, how dare you? Pray forgive the intrusion, my lord, but I, I bring grave tidings. Master Alfano and Mistress Tataru have been detained on suspicion of fermenting heresy. What? Explain. Oh, God. They did it again. They... They were observed entering a tavern in the lower levels on some half dozen occasions. There, it is claimed, they made a number of inquiries. Inquiries which brought them into contact with certain um, elements. It was this which prompted a Knight of the Heavens War to demand that they be questioned. Sir Grino, my lord. Uh oh. Sir Grino is a brute. Exceedingly accomplished brute, but a brute nonetheless. Alas, he is also a son of House Zamayo. Can we kill him? Quickly, we forget the petty nature of men. I'd wager your friends are no more than pawns in another of my countrymen's games. Such is the way of things between the high houses. Okay, so you're waging a war. And you still have time to have each other over. That's amazing. Uh, unlocking all areas, leveling up to max. We can also look at what materials we need. Uh, yeah. I think we should aim to unlock everything soon. I'll. Sorry, I'm just typing to the FC as soon. I'll start leveling my crafters and help you with crafting. All right, let's talk to the Count. Oh, we have won the hearts and minds of many of our countrymen. There are those who will never be swayed. Men who will dismiss your efforts and resent your successes or resent. Yeah, resend your successes. Even as we celebrate them, it's like that one such... It's like... That one such member of House the Mile is manipulating Sir Grimo... Grim... Grin. We'll just call him Grin. Because I, I, I can't speak French. I just... I'm not able to. Holy crap! Dude, thank you. How are you doing? Oh, that is so tiny. I need to increase this down, don't I? I didn't think it would be that tiny, but thank you so much for the bitch. Appreciate it. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's been a it's been a while. Uh, last week couldn't stream a lot. Probably not going to be able to this week again. And you know, stuff goes. And, you know, it, it it is it is the way uh, things are at the moment. Oh. How are you doing? How's school? How's the university going? Um, he is not a man to dabble in politics of his own violence violation. 
volitation, volitation, of his own volitation. You may genuinely believe your friends to be guilty, though I'm quite certain his masters know better. Yet the truth le uh, will avail us not if we cannot prove their innocence. You would do well to speak with Sir Amrak at the Congression of our Knights Most Heavenly. He will know more of these charges. Alright, let's go to Emmerich. But can I can I increase the size of it over here? I think I can. I will have to check that out. Change that. Change that. Oh, actually, I want to drop a, a drop shadow as well. I quite like. Like what they've done with this, I really do. Uh, drop shadow. I want this to be 30 with the drop shadow, not the drop shadow on that. 48. And we'll just do. Could you just stop doing that? that yes. Everything. No varieties listed. Channel points. Don't I, I want to do more channel points again? Uh, I'm thinking about uh, like push-ups and stuff again. Yeah, I've done that in the past. I know. Drop Shadow on that, save those changes on all 77 of them, go back to the Stream Master. Uh, pretty right, starting my new job, starting in the last semester of school, figured I'll catch a stream. Been a good bit, it has been a while indeed, it has been a while, and I thank you for actually uh, being here man, appreciate it, it's been good seeing you. So what have you been playing lately? Like, I, I don't figure you a Final Fantasy player. Talk to Sir Emmerich. Hopefully it's voiced. Oh, it's not. It's been too long, Daily. Would that this visit came under happier circumstances? You are come to plea for Master Alphenold and Mistress Tataru, I take it. Word of their detainment reached us while I was delivering my report on the Vanu Primal. Truly, I know not which is more ludicrous, these charges or that flying feathered whale. That Sir Grin accusations are baseless, I have no doubt. Refu uh, refuting them will be difficult, however, as he is a knight of the heavens ward. I speak of, per I speak of the personal guard of the Archbishop. The twelve finest knights in all of Ishgard, sworn to serve his eminence alone. Suffice it to say, their testimony is unimpeachable, and I will I have no authority to challenge their actions. That's going to be hard, that won't be awkward then. After all the signs have done, rooting the heretics and defeating Shiva. Helping us to defend the steps of the faith and drive back the Ravanian horde. After proving themselves true allies on countless occasions, there is not we can do. Sure, trial by combat, come on man. Yeah, there we go. Every good game has trial by combat. I fear there is but one path left to us. We must demand a trial by combat. But of course. A trial by combat sanctioned by the Inquisition. The victor claims is judged true regardless 
of the petitioner standings. Under his guardian law, a trial by combat pits the accuser against the accused. In this instance, Master Alfinor and Mistress Tataru would be expected to face Sir Grin and a second of his choosing, another knight of the Heaven's Ward, most likely. Two of them, by the fury, that can hardly be that can hardly be considered fair. Master Alfinor's magic talents will not have gone unnoticed, meaning that he will have no choice but to participate. Mistress Tataru, on the other hand, is quite obviously bereft of martial skill and should be afforded the right to name a champion to fight in a stead. Lest you doubt, I'm ready to speak to serve in this capacity. I'm ready and willing to serve in this capacity, as I'm sure is Lord Rochefort. But all here present know that you are the most accomplished warrior among us and may have the realm at large. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just so strong. Then it's settled. I visit the Master Alfino and once and inform him of our intentions. Meet me at the tribunal when we have, we, when you have uh, made ready. Until then, my friend. Well, I'm not going to be doing that as a red mage, I think. Or should we just try it? I think we should risk it for the biscuit. Um, no, not Final Fantasy, mostly Hearts of Iron 3 and 4, but otherwise, not a lot of gaming done. Uh, how's life been? Uh, I've been, uh, I've been swept off my feet by two games. One is Final Fantasy, this, this particular version, the MMO, and the other one is Path of Exile, which I play a lot with my wife and other than that things are just okay-ish you know addiction addiction um things are fine though you know how it goes like it's still going on with my work um and, and stuff like that um, you know life goes on life goes on and that's all that matters right but it's good seeing you again mate have you ever played Path of Exile? Also, how are you doing, Ida? Okay, let's try this. I still don't know about this layout. I might need to get used on using control. I think I will have to start practicing with that. Put something like over there. Work still scrolling yeah, over then. No, I've, you haven't heard. It is. It, it's like an action RPG or something like that. I don't know how you p would definitely put it. Um, you can. If you. If you. Have you ever played a game like Diablo? Then Path of Exile is. More complex. But definitely fun. They consider the. The main story to be the prologue, like your your learning campaign. Uh, it's Monday. I'm getting up too early, and I will fly through my day summer. Yeah, well, I I couldn't sleep. I woke up at two. My wife was like eyeballing me, like, "Oh, you absolute asshole! You are going to be ruining my morning." And and I did. Uh, you know, you be tossing and turning and stuff like that, which is just annoying. You, you, you just woke up. I haven't been to bed, dude. Dude, come on, man. It's like, what? 3 a.m.? Sounds like a great Sunday. Let's go to Hoshifon. Listen carefully. When the trial begins, the petitioner will be asked to restate his charge and the accused invited to respond. Then, in ac accordance with the law, they will be asked to restate their request for a trial by combat. Shift said, Oh man, you still... Oh yeah, wait. I thought you had a new job. You're still working the, um, the correctional institution. Once the high... Adjudicator? Acknowledge Mr. Tatur's right to name a champion. That is when you must make your entrance. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on Sir Grin's face when he sees his true opponent. It will be priceless. 
More seriously, should you begin to lose heart, look at me in the stands and I shall cheer so loud, you will wonder why you could never have contrived to doubt yourself. You will wonder how you could ever have contrived to... Man, you are weird. I like you. Level 52. I'm level 50. Oh, I like it. Ah... Uh, Look at him go! We are gathered here today under the watchful gaze of the Fury to ascertain the guilt of two souls in a trial by combat. Petitioners, step forward. Sir Grino, for the benefit of all here present, I would ask you to repeat the charges which you have leveled against this man and this woman. Damn. You know, being, I, I get that you're working part time, especially when you're doing like your study as well, but still working 40 hours if you can. Ooh, man, 12 hour shifts are no joke. Absolutely no joke. I'll have them this weekend again, Saturday and Sunday. It is definitely not good for your body. I, Sir Grino de Zemile, brother of the Heaven's Ward, did bear witness to these two foreigners consorting with heretics. Let the accused step forward. Alfino Levea, Tataru Taru, you have heard the charges leveled against you. Will you take up arms to refute Sir Grino's claim and thereby prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men? No, yes, of course. I, Alfino Levea, I'm innocent of this charge and claim my right to trial by combat. I, Tataru Taru, am innocent of this charge. What's the point to this game? Um, Final Fantasy has always been a game very story based. So, right now, like what happened when you start playing the game is you get familiar with your role in the game like you are the warrior of light you have something called the echo and you are not be uh, you do not be affected by uh, primals uh, and and right now we're on the run we're on the run because we're being accused of killing uh, the queen and we are still going to need time to put things right so we actually got into the very first expansion which is heaven's ward so the point of this game yeah that, that is something i am unable to answer you because i heaven's ward is as far as i've ever been i could never give you that answer i also think it's just enjoyment it's very story driven it is insanely long it took me let's take a look quickly because I recently made a new playlist on this so I made 34 episodes and I will call them episodes around a roughly three hours a piece so that's like say like a hundred hours by getting through the original game and now with heaven sword i'm thinking it's going to be something like that again so the point is enjoyment it, it, it's a large story we have a free company we have 102 members uh, i'll try or organizing things but you know discord and final fantasy are not like intertwined 
basically I can't answer that. But I am no warrior and cannot fight. So I claim the right to name a champion. To the old and the infirm, the young and the weak, this right we allow. Very well. Who will stand for this woman? Completely surprised. Just as I was beginning to doubt the efficacy of the Ishgardian justice system. Come, my friend. Let us put an end right. to this mama's farce. Right. So, Ginger, if, if I may give you a suggestion. You can currently play the game completely free as a free trial member up to the end of Heaven's Ward. And next year, uh, it also comes to the Xbox and you will be able to go to like level 70 and then it would be like to, I think, to the end of Stormblood. Completely free. You don't have to pay anything. You just download the game, make a free trial and... Try to get past a Realm Reborn. Take your time. Get some classes you enjoy. One character can basically do everything. And once you hit Heaven's Ward. Heaven's Ward is when I was like, yeah, I love this game. I really love this game. And I actually made a new character, which is I'm playing right now. Because I felt bad not reading everything I came across. And now we're actually back in Heaven's Ward again. So that took me four months. And I played like three, three hours a stream, maybe two, three times a week. The only downside is, of course, as a free trial member, you are unable to do everything. It's still free. It also runs great on all their laptops. Because I can play this game at work. If I would like to. And I would have no issues. If I try, try playing Path of Exiles. The game is like screw you. I hate this laptop. And I will not give you a good time. Yeah, okay, let's, let's give this uh, a try. So we start with like Jolt. Render unto us your judgment. Raise up the righteous. And cast down the wicked. Okay, let's hopefully not die. That would be awkward. Now, he is a scholar and therefore a healer. Uh, we have a dragoon and a marauder, it seems. Or a warrior. So, I'll, I'll start with that. Let's go with this. I didn't get... My pride. That's great. Great for your pride, brah. Oh, man, again. What's up? Why do I not get dual cast? <laughs> yeah, I still don't know about this class, though. Take a look how long that actually takes. Man, that jump backwards is no damn joke. Okay, Jolt, because it's fast. Again, Jolt. That's better. I've got you now. I can't get stone. Down with you! Man, I'm dying. Come on, Elf, you're not. Yeah, I don't think Red Mage is for me. This is funny. 
Okay, let's go in. Give this another try. Okay, I, this jumping backwards seems to be quite good. Okay, well now we have double cast. Now we have the other one ready. Again, dual cast. Velvet fire. Jolt. No dual cast. Acceleration. Star oh, okay, that will actually work. So maybe the swift cast would be the best way of trying this out. Okay, let's go up close and personal and finish this guy off. Okay, interesting. I can give it, a sh uh, give it a shot since it's free. But going back to work, trying to have you in voice chat near these days. Um, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate it. Good luck at work, mate. And with your education. Hopefully, it will end fast. And thanks for the cheers, dude. It's been a while, actually, so that I'm happy about that. The Fury has spoken. Alfinot Levenu, Tatu, uh, Tataru Taru, you are hereby acquitted of all charges. Believe are we who receive of her wisdom. Uh, blessed are we who receive of her wisdom and see justice wrought uh, by her divine hands. Petitioners, accused, go forward in peace. Okay, I, I'm a bit disappointed that the second part wasn't voiced, but okay. Delivered from a untimely demise yet again. My thanks, as always. I think we go Dark Knight again. I think we go Dark Knight again. Yeah, couldn't get uh, any more for the workshop. All was like level 75. But hopefully next time I can do more. There we go. Uh, let's go Dark Knight. I... I I don't know, man. I don't know about the Red Mage. Maybe we should try Machinist. Maybe I'll try Machinist next time. I don't know. I, I'm sure the Red Mage is fun. It just doesn't feel. By the fury, what a splendid victory. To see how you shoved a stove in the face. To see how you stove in the face of adversary. Two brave young souls be are bound together by the Prussian bounds of camera a camaraderie. Why it stirred me to the very depths of my soul. He is such he changed his character quite drastically. Having been treated to such a Rousing spectacle. It seems only right that I present you with a humble token of my admin uh, admiration. Pray receive of me this chocobo whistle. Oh, great. I get a bird. It's like giving someone a pet. It's your birthday. Here's a dog. Oh, thank you. Thank you for making me walk every day and feeding it. Thank you. With this, you may summon a black chocobo, fully trained and ready to fly. But there is a catch. Look at him go. Oh man, come on. It needed the, the symbol of the house, actually. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm giving you away. You, you weren't my favorite. This is your new master. Magnificent, is he not? Strong, yet sleek, elegant, yet eager. What say you daily? Will you take her to your steed? Of course I will. I can also change. The testing is over. Uh... Story stuff. Well. Lord Arshifar, chocobos are prohibited in the Supreme Sacred Tribunal of Hellonic Inquisitionary Doctrine. Your steed must remain outside. You could you not just say house rules? 
You know, it's against the, the rules of this uh, place to have a bird in. I'm like, okay. Uh, red mage is, if I recall correctly, that's black and black, but there's also white magic. Quicker with so and have spell cards with without cards and do it cards without it. Well, it, it, I just had Zell um, give me a crash course on how it would go. And I just gave it a try, and it's strong. It is. It's easy to get out of certain situations. I just don't like it. Um, so I will pick up the... I'm, I'm thinking about... The Gunbreaker is a DPS. Or a Dragoon, which would provide us with a bit more story. Yeah, we'll, we'll get over that. Because you, you, they, they kind of tell you a bit of a lie. You do the black chocobo is unable to fly as of yet. Black chocobos are all well and good, but the true reward for your effort is the exoneration of your comrades. Then uh, they shall be released upon the completion of certain minor formalities which I mean to see in which I mean to see to personally in the meantime pray return to Fortap's manor the count has done so already and will doubtlessly be eager to discuss the day's event okay look I, 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 I think even though the red mage is kind of final fantasy like a realm reborn because you can get it at level 50 it's just not not doing it for me so let's go to last vigil. But I don't want to be leveling another class right now. So we could also just pick the two of them, the healer and the tank. Oh yeah, forget. He's like eyeballing me like, yeah, you can try. I have the key, Effer. He has a glorious house though. Alone smiles on us yet again, guided, guiding you to victory and setting your comrades free. I confess I did fear for your safety, which is not to say I doubted your power, prowess, prowess, you understand? Wait, which is not to say I doubted your prowess, you understand? I merely knew the strength of your opponents. <laughs> You do have a habit of exceeding my expectations. Blessing to uh, besting two of the heavens ward, while the city's elite look uh, looked on by the fury. Anyone who hasn't been paying attention to you will surely do so from now on. My lord. We just received a message from the vault. His eminence, the archbishop, requests the presence of Mr. Sphix. An invitation from the archbishop? What an honor. A personal summons is indeed a great honor. And given recent events, you would be wise not to delay. We shall speak anon. A priest will be waiting for you outside the vault. Identify yourself to him and he will escort you in. Yeah, we could just do... No, I kind of do want to have a DPS ready, but I'll, um, I'll need some time to leveling it. Like, I, I'm okay with this. Like, I'm sure we can figure out dungeons and all. Uh, yeah, no point in doing that. Let's run. I'm assuming this is the... No, this is some player. What an honor to receive you. This way, please. Ah, 
that's not a good picture. And Sir Elmerk is there as well. I don't like the uh, blue gloves. Your Eminence. Oh man. It is my honor to present to you the Warrior of Light. I have heard the tales of your many grand endeavors. The Lord Commander has also been most effusive in his praise. I am Thorin the Seventh, Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church, and I bade you come here that I might offer my personal apologies. I don't think you so. Will forgive me for oh. not calling upon you as courtesy would dictate, but as you can see, my more sprightly days are long behind me. But I digress. Your companions were wrongly accused of heresy and subjected to gross indignities. This, I am sorry to say, was the result of negligence on the part of our nation's protectors. Negligence born of an excess of zeal. Is that not so, Sir Zephyrin? Yes, Your Eminence. Regrettably, it would appear that we of the Heavens Ward were in receipt of erroneous information. Sir Grino has ever been headstrong. He pressed charges before the truth had been ascertained, for which I most sincerely apologize. An unfortunate misunderstanding born of an earnest desire to serve Ishgard, but one which should never have occurred. For who could doubt the character of those who bested Shiva and drove the Horde from the steps of faith? Not I, that much is certain. That will be all, Sir Zephyrin. I would speak with our guest in private. Your Eminence, I... As you wish, Your Eminence. That will be all for today. Privacy is a luxury rarely afforded one in my position. Now tell me, young lady, what do you know of the Asians? Much and more, I shouldn't wonder, being the bringer of light. You should know that I myself have met with them have entertained them as guests, even. Those harbingers of chaos and strife offered us power that we might continue our war against the dragons. I have no intention of aiding their cause, of course, nor less of being their puppet. Yet, were I to refuse them outright, I should learn naught of their true objectives and remain powerless to stop them. Thus have I hearkened to their words with interest and paid lip service to their beliefs, biding my time and preparing for the inevitable conflict. And why do I tell you this? Because there is naught in this world they fear more than the power of the Warrior of Light. If we are to rid ourselves of these vile interlopers, we must needs work together. With our combined strength, I have faith that we can wrest Eorzea from their grasp and pave the way for a lasting peace. Think on it. I think you're full of shit.
All right, let's go. Let's go back to the manor. I, he was just going like, I think Eorzea this. Well, he's always been Ashgard first, right? Of Ishgard. So, him now saying that is just, I don't know, it feels very hollow. Uh, we also need to do the wage of... Uh, yeah, because we're level 52. I do need to do the class quest. Um, because I'm worried that I might get a skill. That's 62. Nothing over here. 50. Yeah. Uh, salted earth. Yeah, we need to do it. Create a path or a patch of salted earth on your feet, uh, at your feet. Dealing uh, damage with a potency of 50 to any... Any enemy who enter. 50 is not much, but we're, we're here to keep enmity. So, I think it should... What would be the downtime of it? The recast is 90, which is phenomenal. Holy shit, that takes up forever. Damn. The jumping attack seems nice. Additional drain is also sick. Many skills that they take forever to recast. Look at that. Craven spit. 60. Like we we only get skills that like... 90 is the longest. 30, 60. Uh, and most likely this one, 60. Interesting. Well, we'll, we'll get to that. Let's go, Elfino. There you are. I confess, I was more than a little concerned when I learned that you had been summoned to the vault. What did they want with you? Well, well. A formal apology and an admonishment of those responsible. I see my fears were wholly misplaced. By the gods! The Archbishop freely admits to consorting with Asians. So, their ambitions extend to Ishgard as well. We will have new primals to contend with ere long, of that you may be certain. Tis but a matter of time. Yet shorn of the support of our missing allies, what can we realistically hope to achieve? <gasps> In the midst of all the excitement, I completely forgot to tell you. When I was asking around about the Scions, I heard the most awful rumor. General Raubun is to be executed for crimes against the Sultanate! If the Flame General dies, we will lose a staunch ally, and the one man capable of holding the Sultana's assassins to account. Lord Orshifon was wise to counsel restraint, but this business will brook no delay. We cannot permit this execution to take place. We must save Raoban. Hell yeah, we'll do it. Uh, Raoban is an absolute beast. I love the guy. All right, come on. Um, holy shit, that scared the shit out of me. I didn't see you on. Sorry, how's it going? Going great. How about you? That was very loud, I think. Um, how are you doing? Let me know if it was too loud. So Because I need to... Uh, this is... I, I've set this up like today. It was fine for you. Well, it sure as hell caught my attention, which I will have to say, it has been a few times. It was loud for me. It's it's the jump scared, yeah. Huh? No, I I get it. F for Daper, it's like yeah. How you doing, man? 
<laughs> I might have to tune it down a tiny bit. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll replay it later when I'm done streaming, taking a look at the loudness of it. Um, I'm sure there are sound options. Uh, visuals and sound. The volume. Can you believe that the volume currently is at 15, 50%? I might quickly do that. And I'll put it down to... This is so annoying. 40. There you go. Um, you started the mechanic. How... Um, just got Dragoon to 50. I've everything else is at 30. Started on my mechanic. How is the mechanic? Because I'm actually probably going to be picking it up. M yeah, m machinist. So, uh, machinist, yeah, of course. I say mechanic and then I completely take it over and, and, and that's just me. Uh, let us do this one first. It's level 50. Let's go to Dragonheart. We'll continue the MSQ, but I do need to do this one. And the Aoife current Aoife compass is going to be very, very important quite shortly. Uh, you like it so far. So, does it start at level 30? Well, maybe, maybe true, but yeah, level three. I um, I did do the ninja, and I didn't have that many issues with it. Yeah. So I'm going to be assuming it's the same as with the ninja. I hope I'm correct. I, I'm, I am actually going to be reading the most of this. I've been reading the story. It's been so far. It's been actually quite fun. Wow. It would seem, madam, that my comrade has misjudged you. I realize this now, having witnessed the length of which Lord Drillamond will go for your sake. Ah. There can be no doubt that you are a true friend to Ishgard, which is fortunate, as we have urgent need for one with your skills. Pray accompany me to Behemoth's domin Dominion at once. Uh, okay. Where the hell is that? Yeah, holy crap. Okay, we'll fly. Uh, yeah, well, you know. It is what it is. 0.5 seconds. I don't think uh, the machinist or the, uh, the... Whatever it was called, yeah, the machinist will... Um, We'll kill the entire group for 0.5. There is a demon amongst us, ma'am. A fiend which cannot be suffered to live. Lord Roman may be willing to let a dangerous uh, vigilante roam free, but we are not. So Daryl uh, attack me. What sort of hero maims and murders knights who sworn to the Holy See? None I know. A heretic you are, and a heretic you shall die. Okay. Go with this one. A dishonored temple knight? Uh, 
Hi. Well, I guess he didn't want to fight. True, but I'm not just going to be... Look. It would be with every class, though, wasn't it? Like, and I, I'm, I'm going to assume that they have skills following them up, like, very fast. As long as I'm not going to be a nuisance by standing into... Things I shouldn't be standing into, so the healer doesn't have to pay attention to me. I'm not, I'm not going to be bothered, bothered by it. Vile fiend. Do not think you can conceal your true nature from them forever. We will expose you for the abomination you are, I swear it. Wielder of dark arts, consort. Uh, consort of dragons. I will bring you to justice even if it costs me my life. Shall we oblige him then? Who? Holy shit. He looks... Oh, he is badass. Well, are you willing to kill him or shall I? You're one of them too, aren't you? This is the part where you beg for your life. Leave this land if you value your lives. We will not show you mercy again. Wait, that sword. Look at that sword. The fuck, man. He, that's larger than the, the, the fellow who ran away. I get to my squadron up to the level where I can party with him. Okay, that's nice. I, I don't like the squadron missions, to be fair. I think the NPCs are a joke, mainly. I tried pulling from like room to room, like wall to wall stuff that I do with normal players. They did not like that. They are slow. I pray you do not take, uh, I pray you do not make a habit of following men plotting to kill you into Circulous areas, yeah. Or did you learn not from Frey? So, you do know of him. I thought him fallen... Uh, I thought him fallen at the trial, but I heard whispers of a woman seen wielding a sword in battle. So tell me, what became of him? How did you learn the arts? Yeah, so he's actually alive by the gods. Though now that I think of it, it's not the first time I've heard such a tale. He looks absolutely cool. Who, we who consort with the dark arts are never truly whole. There will even be a part of us yearning to be free. We trained together, Frey and I. His was a strength beyond reckoning, but alas, it was not enough. It warms my heart to see you carry on his legacy. That you will learn as much as you have with only a soul crystal to guide you bespeaks your potential. There is a matter I would discuss with you, but not here. Man, he, is, he absolutely looks amazing. Damn. I uh, really like looks. My name is Sidurgu. 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 Pray look for me at the Forbidden Night in Ishgard. Yeah, he looks cool. I like it. If I would ever change my character, I want to look like that. Uh, let's go to the Forbidden Knight in the Foundation. Um, doing, I think, 5 or was it 10 difference? Going to allow you to do final promotion of the... Yeah, I still need to do that. I still need to do more of the... Um, of those missions. I agree, but I can get half to three. So, uh... 
I I believe they need to be like level 50, right? For you to do the um, for, for you to do that mission. Ah, let's not walk over there. We'll just use the Eve, right? Wait, level 20? Wait, 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 you can do that at level 20? Damn. Um, how many missions do you need to run at a command level? Oh, oh no, um, no, I wasn't, I was actually looking at the, to what level do they need to get, uh, need to be to be at the final promotion of the GC. Given the circumstances under which you embarked upon this path, I fear you do not yet understand what it means to be a dark knight. The first of us bad steel against one of the clerisy, this is true. We sacrificed everything he once held dear in the name of justice. So much, so must all who would walk in his footsteps. Mayhap you think uh, this will earn you the love of the common man. You are wrong. To many, you will forever be a criminal, a fiend who sows chaos and discord. These people will listen to the lies of our enemies. They will do their utmost to cast you out or worse, as they did to Frey. If you are not prepared to deal with these circumstances, of consequences, then surrender your sword and soul crystal to me now. What's he doing here? Who the hell are you? You claimed conviction. You claimed conviction. But your actions speak otherwise. What? What? You spared a man who tried to murder you. Mercy, some would call it idiocy, I name it. Oh, he killed the, uh, the guy. Ah, that's right. I followed the man and gave him the mercy he truly deserved. Look at me, Daly. Tell me what you see. The first is guardian to encounter Aru Sodravanians. The first is guardians to encounter Aru Sodravanians. We had fled Groundemal's army once, of only to come to the land where we were mistaken for another nation's mortal enemy. They bad steel and came to kill us, but we did not die so easily. We spared them and sent them on their way. And how do you think they repaid our kindness? With fire and blood. With death for every man, woman and child. Make no mistakes. These are the wages of mercy. If you would walk the path, then you must accept this truth. For your enemies already have. Okay. Just give me my skill, dude. Left when you can unlock the video. Okay, yeah, yeah. Great, now we're level 52, and I kind of was hoping we would get there. And this will get us the salted earth. I see, you must yet walk that path daily. And it is well that you do. This is a matter I can discuss only with another Dark Knight. Swear to me that you will speak of it with no one else. Thank you. Then I shall begin at the beginning. Our master in his final moment spoke to Frey and me in riddles. A heart bleeds, a man weeps, a soul burns. Then comes to darkness to consume. Yet even in the depths the flame endures. Submit to the flame and, harn and harness the abyss. With that smile, man. Frey and I did not understand this word. We hoped they 
meaning that we hope their meaning would become clear to us in the course of our duties as Dark Knights. What? So we can carry on, follow the creed only one day. We found her. Until one day we found her. What? Ryle. Go on, Ryle. She can be trusted. Alright. Alone is blessed to be uh, blessings be upon you, miss. Right then. She was fleeing from another Temple Knight at the time, who were clearly intent on doing her harm. Needless to say, Frey and I took issue with that and chose to intervene. We went to we went to ground after that, but Frey was caught out in the street while we fetching supplies. Oh, I cannot protect her daily, not from the Temple Knight, not by myself. I'm not even sure why they seek her. Only that I, sh only that should I fail, her life is forfeit. That's fucking dark, man. Help me, Dale, and I shall share with you my art. And then we have reached the limits of my knowledge. Maybe we can unravel the mystery of my master's final words together. I can offer you not else. What say you? Just give me the skill. Then it's settled. We shall both serve as her guardians. Don't... Don't you have something to say to Dahlia, really? Yeah, I wouldn't say anything. It's like... Stranger danger. Daily fix. Found it. Um... Found what? Also... I'm streaming. At the moment. Okay, let's talk to her then. Yes. Uh, why did the Temple Knights want to hurt you? They said I was an abomination and to die to atone for my sins. Okay. Where are your parents? I, I... Uh, what do you think of Shira? He doesn't talk as much. Not since Frey left. Sometimes he hardly speaks a word. Other times I know he would never hurt me. Um... Uh... Hi. Excuse me, Dada. Uh, you'll look after Sid too, won't you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll make it a triple job. Uh, I saw you while I was... Huh? I was doing my job. Oh! Oh! I'm sorry. I didn't see. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Okay, why? Okay, right, that's not with more important matters. Like I said before, I'm not quite sure what the Temple Knights are after, really. They seem to believe something is wrong with her, but for the life of me, I cannot imagine what it could be. However, they... There might be a way to find out. The other day, I overheard a curious tale of the house... Oh my god. Helenarit Knights recently turning up from Camp Cowtop. He spoke of Vanu healers who could see their parents' ether. So skilled were these healers that they could diagnose ailments with a glance. It may be not more than a fantastical tale told by a man in his cups. But even so, if there's a chance we could learn what, if odd, ails Riley, I dare say we must... Take it. Let's go to Clem Cloudtop and begin our research for the healer there. Oh no. We can't fly yet. Great. Fine. We'll do it. Oh. Quick. So. So, we now have the Aoife Compass. Clicking that. And it will tell you that approximately 414 miles away to the north, there is an etherite. So, we're actually not facing north, that is facing north. 400 miles away, there is a ether. Now, 
these EFA are going to be important if you go to travel EFA current you can see these and they don't share information well it's currently not completely true um, they just don't share it right now this map will have uh, I think it's eight places that we need to visit and interact with the EFA current and that will give us the ability to fly with our chocobo Right then, the Varu Varu are, are not willing to parlay with outsiders under most circumstances. However, they may be willing to receive us if we come bearing a suitable offering. I am told they use Gaston's feathers in their rituals. May you would suffice. Daily, I must ask that you prepare our offering while I look after Riley. Once you have it, we can journey to Vandu Ok Bendu together and in Tret. One of their healers to examine her. Okay. So that's over there. Uh, yeah. This this might be a pretty bit annoying, but we'll we'll see what happens. Could I jump down here? Yeah, I can. Good. No, 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 no. Go away. My health is quite low. Okay, let the chocobo do its thing. Could you cast me, bruh? Okay, right, maybe not. Let's go. That's one. There's actually one over there. What is that? Uh, this do again? I'm not sure if that is what I want to do. Oh wait, this is an oh, this will restore my life. Yo, morning MC, how you doing? Panic my Norwegian girls, huh? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Okay, I need to remember this is an HP skill, which makes it absolutely amazing. And this is actually quite a cool class. I like it. Uh, I'm not going to walk back because walking... Oh no. Oh my god. Look at how far we have to go. Oh. That's no joke. That is some serious walking. Uh, yeah, I slept poorly. It's so hot currently. It's also going to be like 30 degrees today, which is just disastrous. Well, let's have a journey. Into uh, one of the new areas. What do you think of this, uh, MC? I think it's quite, quite nice. Quite like this area. Make sure I don't die. But otherwise, I'm doing good. I shouldn't... I can't complain. The only thing I don't like is... that This will seriously be a long travel. Like, this is where we actually got up and... Got for that young lord... 
It's supposed to be spring here already. If several photo. Oh damn. Yeah, it's uh, it's been. It should be getting close. It, 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 we're getting close to the f to fall, I think. Uh, no, oh yes, close to like next month it would be fall. But it's still like when when next? Let me check that. Uh. Uh, yes, yeah, September. Yeah, next month, the twenty-third. But it, it's still it's still getting like thirty degrees, which uh, it already made this uh, this month the hottest month. Yeah, true. That is sightseeing indeed. Yeah, but it's getting a bit cloudy. Umbral wind. I hope I can actually go there. Yeah, look at that, to the west. Yeah, you can't unlock flying until you reach um, the next point. Like, you need to do the other map first and then you go here. And I'm quite annoyed that we have to go. I'm hoping this is the only time we have to go here. But still, sightseeing is great. I love this map. Uh, it looks nice. But it looks better when you can fly. Wait until you see the diadem. The diadem is great. I love the diadem. The diadem is where my, my knowledge of the game ends. A lot. There is a healer. Yeah, you... you Go play, play the game, and uh, <laughs> and get to Heavensward. No, that would that's unfair. What Miss Golgol blows Nettling so far? Away with you, away! Here you go, fetter up your ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, feathers. Now, Nettlings know the way of the Van Duel. Let storm clouds give way to warm sunrise. Say your peace. Okay. Yeah, they're actually gorgeous areas. She will do as we ask. Daily? Yeah, sure. Bring forth the child, Nidaling. Let me look upon her face and know her heart. Oh, he's going to be terrified. Soft reins to smooth your heart, little one. Do not be afraid. Alright, let's wait until it rains. Let him go, man. Drink of the winds, let thy soul take flight. Bathe in the mist and show me thy light. Come, come, show me thy light. Okay. What? 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 Pemperous winds rage beneath tranquil clouds. What great spirit dwells within you? Speak plain, Vanu. This is no child. This is. Ah, uh, the Tramonius follows you. Tramontane. The Tramontane? The Tramontane follows you, Neveling. You cannot remain here. Be gone from my land. Well, that's... Well, uh, go, go, go show him some mercy. Ready your blades, Daly. We have been followed. Look at that, man. He is absolutely amazing. Over there, someone's coming. Ah, uh, she, she, I don't have that tough of a voice. Alright. Fine, I'll walk there. Ready your blade. Let's walk there.
I'm, I'm, would we be attacked by the Varu? Are you kidding me? You sounded pretty tough to me. I don't lie. Don't lie. It's a good lie, though. It's actually quite cute. It doesn't have a neck, though. What's wrong with your neck? He's been in an accident. We're helping him. Oh, look at you go. Elm. I love Elm. I think he's the greatest character in Deep Space Nine. There you go. Some more of these temple efforts. Alright, let's go. Let's do, do all of them at once. Uh, we'll start with you. You have a bow. I hate you already. Alright, that was easy. Uh, next. I'm stunned. Okay. Interesting. Oh, we showed mercy. In my opinion, he actually is. I really like him. I think that Deep Space Nine would not be the same without him. And a lot his character is very, very interesting. It's a shame, like, they don't make... The Star Trek series like that anymore. It's like one big action movie. And I quite liked the idea of having... Say with Discovery. Say that they didn't take like 10 episodes. Or say with Picard. They didn't do 10 episodes. But they did 26 in a season. So not everything was only about pushing forward. And I know the streaming services kind of de demanded the series to be like that. But kind of, I kind of hated it being that fast. I wouldn't have mind it being 26 episodes. Or 20. But not just 10. Just a bit more story development, character creation. You know, that would have been nice. Uh, that, last, that should be the last of them. Um, I've seen these ones about before. They don't answer to the Lord Commander, or so I hear. Bass is though to take us outside the city, away from Privy Eyes. Don't want to be seen murdering a girl in the streets of the Holy See, do they? Even their... strongest supporters can't abide that. True. Um... They left from one episode per story to each... To, to the whole story telling a story. To the, yeah, to the whole season telling... True. But... In, 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 in like, uh, say Voyager, you had pieces that would fit into the larger whole. And each piece would bring you some character development. Uh, think of it as, as, say, Voyager would be 10 episodes. There would be no need for the Doctor. You know, the, there's no discovery around his character. Uh, there kind of wouldn't be a need for, for Seven, I think. Because, you know, by the end of the day, um, it doesn't matter. Like, you could write so many characters away. Balana. Why would you need her to be in engineering? But it's so you can say that about the next generation. It, I think it's sad. Are we being attacked? Okay. Okay, he's taking his blade. Is, is he going to fight as well? No, he's just going to stand there looking pretty. Bastard. Let's go here. Alright, let's continue with this. Um, away from Prairie Eyes. Yeah. We already... Wait... See, my new friends have already abandoned us. Not for it, then. Back to his guard we go. Come along. Yeah, of course he comes along. He's not staying over here. Eh? Stating the obvious much. Still, you know. I, I think it's sad. 
um, this guy is not hard. Like, for reals. Most people learn from their mistakes. Me, not so much, it seems. Oh. I trust you no longer dispute the true nature of the Temple Knight. Murderers and thieves who drape themselves in trapping of righteousness. Do you not see it, Haley? We are all that stands between them and their prey. There is no justice for those monsters. For these monsters save that which we must... Wait, wait, wait. There is no justice for these monsters save that which we must deliver. I will see them answer for their sins, I swear it. If I do not, if I have to drown into the abyss to see it done, I will. Uh, Daily? Daily said, I, I wanted to thank you both for protecting me earlier and apologize for getting you to have. Not really hurt though. Don't be foolish. We have not to apologize for. In any case, we, uh, at least we learned something of our enemy's moves, of motives. Not that I have a faintest inkling of what they healer meant by great spirit. Oh, I think I do. Uh, I don't like Discovery because of it. I did not attempt to... Oh, uh, I quite liked Picard. I didn't like Discovery because it was all about... Uh, the captain. And I thought Saru was a more interesting character. And even uh, Tilly was a more interesting character. I, I think I need to watch that. Even Tilly was, uh, uh, was an interesting character. What I didn't like about Discovery is that I'm in the Netherlands and I'm not able to watch it anymore. Because they got it away from like Netflix or Netflix or Amazon. I'm not sure which one it was. And I was then no longer able to watch it. I've yet to see the last one or two seasons. Because I just cannot watch them at all. I liked Saru. Uh, I liked the what's going on with his race. Like they, they actually took time in that character development. And then he goes away. <laughs> That's just annoying. So, Salted Earth is, I think, at the right position here. We can cast it every 90 seconds. And that's about it. Anyways, let us go back to the MSQ. But, yeah, Picard, yeah, yeah, you know, it has good moments. I like the ending a lot. And I... I would definitely say you, you probably need to give it a go. I give it an attempt. Oh, it is over there. Okay. Who are you? Let's get in. Okay. Let's talk to Alfino. Uh, though the situation calls for urgency, it would avail us a little to charge headlong into Ulda without a plan. Before we can formulate a plan, however, we must first learn how things stand in the Sultanate, which is why I propose that we visit Limsa Laminza. Aye, you heard me right. While you were about your altruistic endeavors, I acted as an intermediary in trade and negotiation between the House Fotar and Limsa's uh, consortium. During set no no uh, negotiation, opportunity to send word to the Admiral presented itself, and I duly seized it. I am happy to report that we have yet a stout ally, ally in Limsa. The Admiral has pledged a full cooperation in any effort to rescue Raban. Accordingly, I have agreed to meet with her that we might discuss how best to proceed. Naturally, I told her to expect us both. Your presence never fails to embolden our en uh, allies, after all. When you arrive in Limsa, make yourself known to the sergeant. That is normal. Solo Delta Scrape 1.0 Savage. I fell off the ledge again. Ow. 
Oof. Okay, now we can actually do return because I'm actually part of Limsa. I wanted to check out um, my... What's it called again? Damn it. My garrison. Thank you. Garrison. That's what I was going for. Uh, I also have a few of these tokens, but like I said, I didn't have much time, so I only have 32. And yeah... I can only get a 10 year anniversary frame kit or okay or a some or a wow really I can get oh crap I didn't know I could get mounts already damn yeah toad head would be great toad buddy I unfortunately can't do much with it uh, and apparently you can also get some of these stuffs if you still have the tomes interesting so save your tomes don't get rid of them yeah this was the last one oh okay so if you completely fail to do it you can always still do it uh, we'll go to the aft castle first. Uh, we'll go to the garrison. How many of these things do I actually have? Uh, 10,000. Not a whole bunch. Oh yeah, use our whistle again. Let's sort that out. Uh, we'll send these guys on their way. Uh, another failure. Great. Yeah, you did great. Great at failing, guys. Way to go. Squadron mission. Come on, man. You're level 35. Uh, we need to get mentality and tactical. Alright, let's go. It's an hour. Uh, also, I need to... Summon my retainer, send them away from another mission. Now, it's always so gloom when I get here. So, let's go to Hawk's Alley. Um, and let's get... This guy... Yay! Alright, uh, confirm. I know we had some money, but it's, it's um, free company money. I, I usually some, some sell stuff from the free company, and I'll wait until I have like some money and then give it to the free company again. Uh, sign adventure. Woodland Expedition. Apparently, I didn't do it. That's weird. I thought I did. Also, let's get rid of... Some of the inventory. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to them. I I just will probably never use them. I got so much fishing stuff. Yeah, lugworm is not going to sell because I'm actually using it. I'm not fishing anytime soon. Sort that stuff out. Here we go. 107. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's quickly go to the Admiral. Which is over there. Let's go to the main one. I kind of do want to do a... We don't have a Heaven's War dungeon up and running, right? No. No. Nope, 
no heaven sword whatsoever, which is a bloody shame. I kind of wanted to run a dungeon. Uh, we also need to do a mission with the uh, Astro. Please be voiced. Friends, it is good to see you safe and well. I will admit I had not counted on you seeking, let alone finding refuge within the Holy See. But full glad was I to learn that you had. Wait, 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 wait. This is a different voice. Did May, May, Melweb's voice change? It, it, it must have been. It's more welcoming, more friendly. The other one was more like she smoked a cigar every hour. Her voice changed. Thankfully, we had allies there who took us under their wing. And theirs was not the only aid we receive, I suspect. When we fled Uldar, we fully expected to become wanted men, known to all and hounded at every turn. Yet that did not come to pass. On the contrary, it would seem the charges against us have not been made public. Might we have you to thank for that, Admiral? Sharp as ever, Master Elfino. On Marshal Terrapin's urging, the Elder Seed Seer and I demanded that the Syndicate suppress news of the Scion's alleged crimes until such time as irrefutable evidence could be found. It's not an improvement, the voice. It's. It speaks very through the nose and like very monotone when there is nothing else to do. Our argument was simple. Lacking proof to accuse the saviors of the realm of so unlikely a crime would have the people up in arms. In their wisdom, the syndicate agreed, as you yourself have seen. There is something you should know. Some few days prior to the banquet, the Elder Seedseer and I were summoned for a private audience with the Sultana. There, she revealed her intent to announce her abdication, that she might pave the way for the establishment of an Uldan Republic. What? But such an announcement would have plunged the entire nation into chaos. She was well aware of that. It was for fear of what might ensue that she summoned us. Her Grace wanted the Elder Seed Seer and I to lend Raubarn a helping hand, you see? To aid him in preserving the peace during the transition. So, having somehow caught wind of her plan, Lolorito and Teleji plotted the Sultana's assassination in the hope of maintaining the constitutional status quo. But they must have known that her death would sow as much chaos as her abdication. Chaos from which Teleji alone might feasibly stand to profit. Surely Lolorito would never knowingly... Ah, could it be? I dare not hope. The Uldan authorities have yet to announce the Sultana's passing. To allay any suspicion that may arise from Her Grace's absence, they have issued a statement to the effect that she is presently convalescing from illness. Smart. Mayhap they're waiting for a fitting moment to break the news. Or mayhap they know of some other reason to delay. Something else has been bothering me, Admiral. I was dismayed to learn that General Raubarn is to be executed. Yet upon hearing the news, I could not help but wonder why he had been kept alive for so long. Pray mistake not my meaning. I am, of course, overjoyed that our friend still draws breath, and that he might yet be saved. But if his enemies truly wished to eliminate him, they could have done so immediately. I see no reason for this delay. Aye, you've struck upon an important point, Master Alphano. Following his capture, Raubarn had been held in the Marasaja pit within Uldar. In recent days, however, he has reportedly been moved to an unknown location. Queerly, it was not the Brass Blades who spirited him away either, but a band of soldiers decked in blue. <laughs> the Crystal Braves. Crystal Traders. Aye. If I read the Windsor right, 
The arrangement between Lord Lollorito and the Braves has come under strain. At any rate, if we're to rescue Raubarn, we'll have to find him first. And you'll be glad to hear that I have already entrusted the task to those best able to see it done. Our friends of Doma. The ninjas. Uh, Roban's uh, survival is vital to the Orsian Alliance. We can ill afford to lose him, but we cannot send troops to Uldar. It would spell the end of the Alliance and war, like as not. If there is to be a rescue, it falls to you and yours to attempt it. Yeah, because we're already being like accused. It, I would not have it any other way. Yet. Okay, let's go rescue Roban. It was I who formed the Crystal Braves, who I founded the Crystal Braves, and I who must take responsibility for their actions. Spoken like a true leader. By way of a first step, I would seek out our dome in contact. You will find her amongst the frontier hands at Reverend Stall, working in the kitchen. Man, they're all of these domains having like a double job. Like during the day they're working in the kitchen and during the night they're an assassin. Yeah, it seems kind of right. Let's go to Reverend Toll. Uh, ah, he defeated. Congrats. Congratulations. Man, the tap option is so handy. Also like it when you speak to a crystal brave. You have not shown your face yet, traitor. I ought to have your whole. Uh, I ought to haul you in for your crimes, and I would expect you doubtlessly put up a fight. And I've never uh, ordered to bring you. Uh, our priorities have to protect the people. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't want to be fight. I love that if you talk to them. All of them. Um, they'll have like an excuse. Some of them are really funny. Like one of them indoors is like, if you want to proceed. He's like, uh, uh, let's just pretend I didn't see you. Uh, I can't let you in, of course, but just let, let's pretend you uh, you didn't uh, talk to me, okay? Uh, this one, can I? Ah, can't do anything with that. Shame. I think it's funny still. Uh, we need to go up. Then through these doors into the kitchen we go. Hey, Higiri. Didn't we speak to her already? I knew in my heart you were safe. But to see you again in the flesh, which cannot well express my relief. Well, you've never tried talking. No, it's I, I've I. It's actually funny. Just go around. Just talk to them. It's funny. Even as the victory fest was held, was taking place, the crystal braves turned upon us and took the rising stone by force. Amid the chaos, some few of my compatriots. And I were able to slip away unnoticed. Since then, we have remained in Reverend Stall, keeping watch over the mutineers while awaiting your return. You have done well by us, and we domains do not soon forget your, uh, our debts. We swear to do all within our power to aid you. Okay, cool. I love the, I love. She also gives me her, her wages. Shortly before you arrived, I received word from Limsa you, uh, that you were searching for General Roban. As the Admiral will have informed you, he was recently moved from his cell into the Ma uh, Marseja pit. At the same juncture, Yuyu Hase uh, ha and the 3rd unit were, observant, were observed leaving the Rising Stone. This can be no simple coincidence. Their purpose, we believe, is to escort the flame general to the scene of his execution. Suffice it to say, we have people shadowing the third. 
If you would join the hunt, pray seek out the Ware at Highbridge, where I too am bound. Actually, we can try one more. Let's try one more, Crystal Brave. Uh, I there should be. Even if you speak into it to them in Ulda, uh, this one we got. I know in the Rising Stone, but I've already seen it. It's funny still, though. Nah, whatever. Can we talk to you? No, they don't have like. You can't really target her. That's fine. Let's go to High Bridge. Just, uh, just seek them out and just, just give it a go. Like nothing. Even I was like the first time. Like, yeah, that's it. End of the game for me. If I speak to him, uh, they're going to arrest me. It has to be. And I was surprised that they didn't. Surprised and very, very happy. I should also try doing a bit of farming. Get some of these hides first. Sell them to the market. Man, this rain is a nightmare. Okay, here we go. I have been expecting you. Time is of the essence, so I shall be direct. Uh, Yu Hase and his men are bound for Halatili. We believe that this is where they intend to carry out the execution. Hosan is pretty keen... Uh, is Presently keeping watch over the entrance. Let us make haste and join him. I think we are actually going to do a dungeon real quickly. It's I believe it's the hard mode of Yeah, we're definitely going to do a dungeon. If anyone feels like it, you can join. It's been a while since I've done this. Still. And otherwise we just do a random group. It's single player. Oh, never mind then. Sorry. Bloody shame. It's a missed opportunity. Alright, let's talk to Ozen. You come at a good time, my friend. It's, uh, but moments ago, the trader Ilbert arrived and entered. Uh, Halatili. From this... We may be certain that General Raban has been held within. More money. More money. Make me rich. And we actually will get an option. We have the casting. I don't need the healing. The aiming. The s maybe go for the slaying. I have defending. It doesn't really matter. There is no time to lose. Uh, general may be executed at any moment. We must enter and free him from his captors. Please see to our preparations. Uh, please see to your preparations and tell me when you're ready to proceed. One of our own will accompany you inside. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I was born ready. Come on. Okay, here's the uh, crystal deaths. Look at him go. Look at that moustache. Oh, hello. Pray, forgive me my lateness. Lady Ugiri. Master Alphano, I am pleased to see that the light of resolve shines in your eyes once more. Ah, yes. How pathetic I must have seemed to you when we last met. Yeah, man, you were a joke. To record it. For a time, I was well and truly lost. But with the aid of my comrades, I have since refound my purpose, and I shall take care not to misplace it again. Since your escape from Ulda, my fellow Shinobi and I have shadowed the Crystal Braves every step, in hopes of learning the Scion's whereabouts. Regrettably, our investigation has yet to yield any useful information. Pray, forgive us. 
You need not apologize, my lady. We are grateful for all that you have done on our behalf. Besides, Ralban is no less a friend, and we cannot well abandon him to his fate. Hosan, the three of us shall attend to the Flame General's rescue. Pray, draw away the guards by the entrance. Take Doware and Higiri with you. <laughs> okay, that's a dramatic exit. With okay. Me. Now casually walking in. Go. Oh, it's a Lancer. How nice. How much can I... Okay, let's not go overboard. Uh, we can actually test out our newest skill. Yeah, they actually are getting damage, like 245. Away with you. Okay, that was I just jump down here. Uh, let's just do this. The conjurer needs to die first. That is right. Leave this to me. Leave this to me? No way, man. It's mine. Go away. Also, I've not been damaged enough to use this uh, living death skill. Okay, you can just... Ha, <laughs> nice. Um, we don't have to be worried about it. You came. Of course we came. Come on, man. He is bound by some kind of some manner of magic device. Yet I dare not force it open. It may as well be booby-trapped. I have heard of such devices. The Crystal Braves will possess the key. Let us slip, uh, split up and look for it. Oh, this sounds like one of those moments where things go horribly wrong. That will not be necessary. Oh, that must be Captain Ilbert. Oh, maybe not. Pray do not make it per take it personally, my friends. You are the victim of harsh economic conditions. Happily, you will not suffer for long. This poison will convey you swiftly into the bottom of Tal, where I hope, where I hope to join you after the passing of many preposterous years. Okay, interesting. Oh, okay, I think my sword is the nicest. El Presidente. Uh, three. Uh, streaming, mate. How about you? Alright, uh, the poison is... Not over there. I think it's, at, it's somewhere else. I think we have to go all the way back to the entrance. Of course, this way is clear. It's like deadly poison.
Yeah, I'm not going to bother with them. Let's right, just keep running. I'll just do this single. Yeah, it's over there. Not a gem. Okay, this would be a great time to try it out. Okay, no more poison. So they will run out. And well actually they give poison, so that's going to be awkward. I don't have grit on, which I should have actually, and I keep forgetting it. I have a few questions for you during my next cutscene. Um, I'll do my best to answer, but the typing is a bit much during, well, streaming. Alright, let's go. Back to Robon. I think, oh, actually no, we need to continue this way, I think. Defeat the Crystal Braves and obtain the key. Yeah. Come on. Don't be like this. Just, just, just be a bro and die. Definitely the Conjurer first. Let's go with the Archer. I should have used the other one. So this one is... In a line. So like so. Both of them. You can hit both of them at once. The other one is single target. We can run back. Roban's vitality is at 80. Like, he didn't suffer at all. He's like having a cough. So, will the Crystal Braves attack us again then? Probably. these devices there might be a few still standing over there I'm not sure but we just don't care we just jump down here Well, he has seen better days, my thanks. Slowly, General, you are yet weak from this ordeal. Nevertheless, you must quit this place. I should have known what a clever contrivance... Contrivance? I don't know the word. To the warrior of light, well done, hero. Can we just kill him now?
Especially the fella on the right, he betrayed his people twice. I think we should kill him first. Look at him, look at that face. You mean to struggle on then? Very well. If you would stand in my way, I will cut you down like all the rest. Come, Sans. Let's get this over with. Okay, that was a bit annoying. That. Get this archer. Get this conjurer. Okay, give us a bit of a debuff. Do the one line thing. Move back. That's one. Archer. Yeah, now we get actually both. Bloody Archer. Where's the other guy? Oh, him. We, we, make, we need to make his death, like... Very, very painful. Ilbert of the Dull Blade. It's kind of a weird name, isn't it? I'll tear you limb from limb. No, oh, you don't. Go away. I don't care what you think you're doing. It's not happening. Tree. Ah, oh, man, you're a joke. You're a joke. How could you take the general's arm? This changes nothing. It is over, Ilbert. Lay down your arms and surrender yourself to justice. Justice? Right. Justice for what exactly? T'was not I who assassinated the Sultana, boy. Ere we debate who is responsible for the assassination, I would ask whether an assassination took place at all. Oh, clever little shite. If you think you fight for justice, lass, you best wake up. The truth is, you fight for whoever bloody well tells you to. Can you not see you're being used by the Scions, the city-states, even the Crystal Braves? They none of them care a whit what you want, only what you can do for them. And how do I know this? Because I'm the same. A pawn to be used as my master's see fit. All I ever wanted was to liberate my homeland. And I ate dirt to make it happen. But what have I achieved after all these years in servitude? Nothing. Not a bloody thing. If we ourselves are not free, free to think and to act, how are we ever to reclaim our own land? Know this. There is nothing I would not give to take back Alamigo. Nothing! That's a great picture. I love that. That face. Okay, when did he learn Shinobi shit? Oh, I failed. You'll not get away. Yeah, I will. No, Master Alfano. Now is not the time. Yeah. I'm but a cripple and a fool. And still you came for me. I'm in your debt. We are all of us fools of fate, General. But even fools have a part to play. Really? Interesting. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not a gladiator. On your feet, gladiator, this fight's not over. Rest assured, I was not planning to die till it avenged the Sultana. Still, your words are welcome, lass. Really? Your words are welcomed? Know this, Ilbert. There is nothing I would not give to see you pay for what you've done. My wealth, my arm, my life. Nothing. General, are you aware that Lord Lollarito has yet to announce the Sultana's death to the public? What? No. No, I was not aware of that, nor of anything else outside my cell. It is passing strange, though. I assumed the bastard would make it known at the first opportunity, and set about tearing down the Sultanate. Nah. As did we all. And it is indeed strange that he did not. Strange, or perhaps revealing. Now, I have no conclusive proof, nor do I wish to give you false hope. But I have reason to believe that her grace may yet live. What? But how can that be? Well, you've never seen the body now, do you? Forgive me, friends, but it is not safe here. Let us continue this conversation without... Yeah. Luckily, Yukari is actually a smart one. Um... What's the appeal of using data sent outside your own range? Uh, maybe... Okay, uh, I know it's a good chunk of big old boys here who went for the region. I love all of them. That um, wow, uh, good question. Actually, very easy question. Uh, good, but easy to answer. Um, I started playing Final Fantasy XIV. Do to Lord Doctor from Discord. He and the others, we formed the FC with, are in the North American region, and I can play during my nights. There we go. Easy question. Okay, that one. The general is safe. What news without? My lady, the guards have been subdued as per your command. We have kept watch over the entrance. There have been no further activity. Then Ilbert and his minions have fled via some other egress. Scour the perimeter for sight of their passing. At once, my lady. Uh, no, no flashy stuff? Come on, man. Who the hell are you? Dark stranger. General, I presume, and the signs of the Seven Dawn. Go on, let's kill him. Who are you? Identify yourself. Pray do not be alarmed. My mistress is a friend, and I come bearing a message of goodwill. For your own sake, she bade me direct your steps to the walking sand. Known that Master Uranger awaits you there, along with other sympathetics to our cause. This is not a ruse, I assure you, General. If you will come with me, I have prepared a carriage uh, that you may travel in comfort, safe from privy eyes. I'm just simply, I'm just telling you as a friend, I, you don't know me, you, I don't know you, but you are safe with me, just, just, just get into my car. I don't know.
I have spoken with Orange over a long pearl and confirmed the man's stories. Rabban is a safe hand. Let us make our own way to Vespa Bay. Oh, please. I don't have tickets anymore. Indeed. Um, do I still have tickets? <laughs> yeah, I do. Ha! <laughs> Two of them. Holy crap. Didn't think I had them. Uh, so reading it's like 50 of 60 to 150 ms higher the game is designed for 200 ms allowance it's doable at a fraction of a second delay uh 0 0.5 i have been told Uh, but communication for me my dearest friends praise be unto the twelve for delivering you from the clutches of father <laughs> that's so awkward Pepin my son and master Papashan besides Forgive me, Father. I should have been at Her Grace's side. Save your tears. The Sultana yet lives. You. It was I who arranged this gathering. And judging by your perplexed expressions, it would seem introductions are in order. I am Dulala. Head of the Order of Noldthor, and member of the Syndicate. What you said about the Sultana, is it true? Is she alive? Young lady, I understand you were with the Sultana when she drank from the poisoned goblet and collapsed. Would I be correct in assuming that you did not personally verify Her Grace's vital signs? Of course not, like I was being arrested. Why ask when he's playing? You know the answer. Calm yourself, General, and let me finish. The truth is not as you imagine it. You are all victims of a most ingenious ruse. A ruse conceived to eliminate the threat posed by Telegi Adelegi. It is my belief that Telegi plotted the Sultana's assassination alone, but that Lollarito caught wind of his plot and exploited it to his own ends. He sought to manipulate you into eliminating Telegi for him, and you duly obliged. At yeah. one fell swoop, he removed his two foremost rivals, all the while remaining above suspicion. Yeah, he's clever. God strike me down for a fool. But the Sultana, how can it be that she lives? She lives because Lollarito willed it. Her own lady in waiting is but one of his many little birds. By her sleight of hand, the poison was switched for a less deadly draught before it could reach her mistress's lips. A less deadly. Less deadly is still deadly, right? Some manner of sedative, perchance. Of a potency sufficient to induce a slumber like unto death. Were I to guess, I would say her grace is being held somewhere. Dreaming dreams of a brighter Uldar. Even as we speak. Oh, Nanamo. I will never forgive Lolorito for his part in this. Though Lolorito's hands are far from clean, 
They did pluck her grace from the jaws of death. That must count for something. And though one may call the man's methods into question, it cannot be denied that he knows the value of stability, to the very gill like as not. He craves power, tis true, but he has no desire to depose the Sultana. I had never taken sides in your feud with the monetarists, but it was not for want of concern for our nation's welfare. Indeed, t'was out of the desire to see order restored that I furnished your Far Eastern friends with information and arranged this gathering. Hey, Ibiku, how are you doing, man? How are you surviving the heat? I hope you are ready to work, General, for there is much work to be done. Our first priority must be to bring matters back into balance. Lest you forget Her Grace's words, the true wealth of Uldar lies in the health, happiness, and hopes of her people. As for the more worldly kind of wealth, I am content to let Lolorito help himself to whatever Teleggi Adeleggi left behind. You, meanwhile, must do that which you alone can do. Rescue her grace and take your place at her side once more, for her sake and that of our nation. Oh, where have you been, man? Like, you've been into Spain or something. It's been hot con constantly there. Okay, damn, I didn't see that one coming. How was it? How was things over there? Okay, let's talk to Alfino. Um, I had that counting on Prioress Dao Lala presenting of herself appearing. In my defense, my suspicion regarding the Sultana proved more prescient. Much remains to be done, but the rescue but in rescuing Rauban we have taken a vital first step towards resolving matters in Ulda. We couldn't have done it without your help, Daddy, thank you. Okay, um Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need aiming. Uh, what what does a machinist use? Uh, they finally lifted off that lockdown. Oh, finally, man. That that mo that took forever. It's good to hear that. Hope you enjoyed your vacation. Aiming. Okay. Thank you. Because um, I'm, I'm, I'll be picking up the machinist like a bit later. I'll uh, I'll continue to stream a bit longer, of course. All the appearances aim in. Okay, good to know that. Go give me money, money. Oh no. Tataru, yes, General Roban is in safe hands. What? Another assault? Very well, we shall return at once. Pray notify the Count that we are coming. Uh, it would seem we face another crisis. The Ravonians are preparing to rescue. Resume their seats on the Holy Seat. Though I am loaded to abandon the Sultana to her faith, we lack the necessary evidence to act upon Dawala's claims. That being the case, I propose we leave Marshal uh, Tarapun and the others to investigate and return with all haste to Ishgard. Finally, man! Finally! It's so expensive going there and we actually have reduced thieves on and we now have heat of the ba battle 15%. Uh, 
Alright, send me to anything I can kill. It's been a while. Uh, there's one thing that we probably would be doing, and that is every now and then switch to the Astra. Uh, Love by the Sun we should eventually do, because I think we're starting to miss, yeah, two skills here. Um, Cinder's Tree. Generate an infrared band with a target party member each time you cast a single targeted healing spell on yourself or a party member. The party member with whom you have the bond will also... Oh, cool. Wow. Oh, so you cast this on the tank. You heal the tank and you will heal yourself as well. That is actually quite, quite good. Other than that... Um... Oh, these are the cards. DPS or tank, so the arrow. DPS, melee DPS. Melee DPS. Melee DPS or tank. And then ball, ranged DPS or healer. Ranged DPS or healer. Ranged DPS or healer. So it's free versus free right now. So balance arrow and spear is for the... Uh, tank or melee DPS and the others uh, I need to remember that it's quite good if you can get the timing right yeah I quite like it I have been it's also good for my MP so every time we're going into like a boss fight uh, I have been casting them oh, I should kind of wait um, because they, with the start of a rotation, they usually don't just smack out the strongest. I know with a uh, with a black mage, it will take at least three seconds or four seconds to get into that position where you're casting fire three or fire four constantly. Yeah, it, it is amazing. I love it. Uh, ah, there you are. Sorry for cutting your reunion with General Rowan short. I wouldn't have bothered you, but the city's was with the rumors of another Dravanian attack. And Lord Hoshifant was desperate to get hold of you. Speaking of whom, he and the others are waiting for you inside, so you better head in. My friends, I thank you for answering the call with such alacity. tree. As I'm sure you are now aware, the Ravanians are once more gathering for war. I must apologize for this abrupt summons, but we thought it best to have Mistress Tataru contact you by the most direct means available. While the observatorium bells toll, it's a warning that cannot be ignored. The Holy See has ordered that we make ready for battle. In case you haven't heard, a band of trappers returning from the west claims that they saw a cloud of dragons big enough to dim the daylight sky. Nickhawk's minions are gathering once more for war. Alright, I'm off. Have a great rest of your stream. Stay awesome. Hey, have a great day, uh, MC. Once I see you streaming, I should definitely drop that British, uh, Twitch Prime sub in because I've been hoarding it. But I would not have you take up arms in another of their conflict. The first you came to Ishgard, I offered you my protection. If I cannot ensure your safety here, I cannot well accept your aid, much less ask for it. Don't bullshit me, Count. The signs of the seventh door. Don, you are... Signs of the seventh door. You are faced with a choice to remain in the besieged Ishgard or to seek sanctuary elsewhere. I would not presume to influence your decision, but I must ask that you make it swiftly, lest our enemies force your hand. Though we flee to the end of the world, it would seem there's no place in this troubled age. Uh, no, it seems no place in this troubled age is free of strife. Once more the horde descends upon Ishgard, and once more uh, weary defenders must take up spears and bow. 
The Count would have you seek shelter from the storm, but I, for one, grow tired of running. If we are to shine the light of dawn, we must do so in the sight of a fellow man, not hurking in a hall. What say you? Ah, uh, yeah. What the fuck was that? Thank you for the follow, uh, dude. Uh, it's Mr. Void. Thank you. Appreciate it. Then fight we shall. Let it never be sad that we abandon our allies in their hour of need. It's the only right answer. Come on. It's like, I'm sure if you pick the other option, they will just come back and tell you to do it. Every How are you doing? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, the choice we make this day may have great implications for our order. It is only right that Tataru should have a say. Come, let us meet outside and discuss the path that lies before us. What? Oh, you could see right here. She's right here. What? Oh, come on, man. Ah, there we go. Mr. Void himself. How did it... Yeah, sorry, I, I had it hidden uh, sometimes. Um... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was watching a cutscene. Um... Is that wrong? Oh, they went Super Saiyan. Good cutscene with that, but Jamila. Why did you found a guild? Um, easy. Um, I like doing so. <laughs> it's, um... Uh, I always like doing guilds, and... I... I knew with Final Fantasy, it's very... Um... Party rate driven like you could play this game without doing anything of that but i just like having a group of people which i can play with when i'm not streaming or whatever like i can just say in the fc like hey i'm going to be doing this dungeon and is anyone willing and there's a few people saying yes or no or i can just go with randoms i i like doing stuff with a guild and i know there's a lot of stuff especially like the workshop uh, and 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 so on um that is very guild focused and i think it's interesting it, it we have a very interesting group of people and yeah i, I i've been very happy that we um uh, joined the that we created the guild um would love to do that with my guild if only it wasn't that I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, and you're also on another server. Hey, there is a place in in our FC, but you would have to make a switch. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. Um, otherwise, we have the Crossworld Link Shell, which is trying. It's uh, most of the people as well. Bots cleared. Thank you so much, MC. Appreciate that. Uh, like I said, it, it's not a lot of people. Some didn't even get, like, the reply. Um, yeah, it is a social thing. And I've always liked MMO. I've always played MMOs. I've never done so on YouTube. Like, I grew my channel with uh, Mountain Blade Warband. And then I started playing Stellaris. And I started playing X4. And, and I've always played classic yeah i i started playing mmo yeah stellaris yeah i have a lot of videos on stellaris i was actually quite good i've never played lower than admiral but i i hate stellaris right now the way it is is just so <sighs> it's such a shame you know I love version 1. I didn't make videos in version 1. Uh, but I was watching... I was friends with Horrid Drug. Who did quite well. And he switched to Twitch. And... We may have to spend 30 days on the running. Man, I need to check. Actually, I don't know if I... Wait, I was... Uh, let me take a quick peek. Um, let me put that on. Okay. Um, I have 811 hours, which is not a whole bunch, actually. And 
But, you know, it's enough. But I just don't like the game anymore, and I didn't even invest in, in doing more stuff. And then Warband is probably a lot less because I didn't trust... I did not trust Steam when it came out. So that's 708 hours. Uh, maybe 7... Yeah. No, actually it's multiple. Uh, I've played a lot of... I can actually show you, I think. Um, it's Stellaris. These are all of my Stellaris uh, series that I've done. Yeah, these are it. And then I also started X4 Foundation, and I had a good time playing that. I, it's it's the the game I have most hours on. No, it's actually a lot easier than people think. You know, actually, no, you're right. Uh, you're right, and I will explain myself. I never done end game, like I've never waited for a crisis, and. The reason for it is extremely simple. I either owned the entire galaxy or was in such a position that I felt it was boring to continue. Like in in mid day, like in mid game, I would um, dominate, very very much dominate, and I hate, honestly, I hate the planet management i hate it hate planet management I, in version one you know you could actually have the ai manage everything and it was great you can just let that thing go nowadays if you put on management like planet management or region management stuff like that it sucks Oh my god, it sucks. I don't have Stellaris installed. And the... Oh. It's my... It precisely, it is micromanaging hell. And it... it I hate it. And, and I've, we've done a lot of events on Discord. Stellaris. Uh, playing uh, with Wenhack. Playing with everyone who was there. Like we, we started the Discord for Stellaris. With other content creators. Uh, but now we're, we're, we're moving away from that. Because Stellaris is a dead game. You can see that in the channel. And, and I wish there was more interaction from people say um in the discord because that would point us in a direction that uh that we know where to go right you know it is what it is like we have 330 members on discord 100 member on 100 members online and there's no one talking it's a it's a joke um but anyways i like mmos i started playing lineage 2 and then I moved to Saya. Then um, me and my... I moved to... Oh my god, what's the game's name again? No, actually Saya, we started playing... Me and my wife, back then my girlfriend. Um, I, I want to go back to X4. I really want to go back to X4. And I, 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 the first thing I need to do in a new playlist is apologize... Because I kind of left abruptly. Um, but I don't have time. And X4 takes a lot of time to play. Uh, because I don't like Seda. I don't like Seda. Uh, uh, it, 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 once you start using Seda in X4. It's so easy to always use it. I know when you play, like, X3, the first thing you do in X3 is putting your Seda up to a thousand percent. 
That's the first thing you do. And then X X4 I love because it is it's gorgeous. The game is absolutely gorgeous. And I I, I miss playing X4. I can honestly full heartedly say I miss playing X4, but I just do not have the time to commit to two games because one me and my wife have a game path of exile we we play and me and my wife that's important to me <laughs> you know i know it's weird uh then i have final fantasy but which i play because i love the story and i love the community we're building and i would love to play x4 without Seda. but doing x4 without Seda. I will get very little um, progression. I could do what Kynan kind of Frost did, right? I can make 74 videos of me streaming X3 or X4 uh, and not using it. And I'm, I would still not have everything I wanted to do, you know? But I, I, may, I, honestly, I honestly miss playing X4. I, I really do. I love that strategic feel. I love the space thing. Like, I tried playing Star Trek Online and I hated it. I don't like Star Trek Online at all. And we actually have a guild in Star Trek Online as well. Which, if anyone is playing Star Trek Online, uh, we might need you a lot. Because I have we, we, we kind of want to revive that guild into what we have on Final Fantasy as well. Uh, and that, that would mean that, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff. Anyways, let's continue because I've been renting. But yeah, it's good to see you, Unvoid. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Ishgard cannot well endure another assault. Even should her knights succeed in turning back the Horde, the casualties will be catastrophic. But what other choice do we have? It's not like we can talk it over with them. Dragons and men aren't exactly on speaking terms. With certain notable exceptions. You don't mean Ice Heart? Yeah, why not? When last you spoke with her, she lamented her crimes, did she not? Then there remains a sliver of hope. If we can persuade Ice Heart to act as our intermediary, we may yet be able to convince Nidhogg to abandon his bloody course. Yeah, I, I usually, I'll just post it like in the FC, like once. Um, or if some people are tr talking to me like, yo, fair warning, I'm streaming, like I can't really react to it. Uh, I don't want to be turning the FC in one big ass advertisement. I don't want to do that. If there is to be a meeting, I would accompany you. Estin, Estinine, Estinine. I love that. Guy. That guy is great, though. Estinian. Estinian. That's that's how you pronounce. Estinian. Okay. Even with your intermediary, Nidhogg's blood rage may render him deaf to reason. However, the mere attempt may afford our forces precious time to prepare. Yeah, do it, mate. Definitely. Um, have fun playing. Uh, I'll talk to you later, mate. Thank you for the follow again. Appreciate it. Renting is good. Yeah, true. Renting is good. Uh, I course, should do rent videos. I can rent a more quite good. Approach to ending this conflict. With the power of the eye at my disposal, and the vaunted strength of the Warrior of Light, we could considerably <laughs> slay the beast outright. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. If we are to risk a face-to-face -face meeting with the Dread Worm, I for one would feel safer in the company of the Azure Dragoon. However, I should only turn to your alarms if my words failed to find their mark. Is that clear? Perfectly. I shall assume that Isart enjoys similar diplomatic protection until instructed otherwise. A word of advice. Think carefully before divulging the particulars of this plan to Sir Emmerich. It would not do to have the Lord Commander accused of consorting with heretics. Yeah, it's true. They're, they're kind of touchy, Indeed. aren't they? I thank you for your counsel, Estinian. We shall be honored to have you with us. 
I am glad to be of service. Man, my dogs are absolutely destroyed from the walk that I did with them. I love it. We have chosen a difficult road. Yet even should we succeed in winning Isa to our cause, our plans for parley will swiftly come to naught should the Holy See decide to strike first against the Horde. We must petition the Lord Commander's aid ere we set forth. I only hope that Sir Emmerick will be willing to muzzle Isgard's forces on the strength of our vague assurances. Tataru, I would have you ask I would ask that you remain at Fort Ham's Manor and inform the Count of our decision. Tell him that the signs of the Seven Dawn mean to do all in their power to ensure that Isgard and her people survive. Isa? Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so let's head over. I think I'll make it to four hours because I have been like preoccupied quite a bit during the stream. But I do have to do some other things uh, before picking up the wife. Um, like I said, it's important to me. Yep, let's go. I want the defences of the Outer Ward rechecked. See to it that the ballistas are in good repair and supplied with enough ammunition for a prolonged siege. At once, my lord. Ah, twould seem I have visitors. And unlike those messing beyond our walls, these ones are welcome. Pray forgive us for interrupting you in the midst of your preparations, Sir Emmerich. But our suit concerns the impending assault. To speak plain, we believe there is a chance the invasion might be halted before it even begins. I can divulge little more at this time, but I must nevertheless request that you advise the Holy See to refrain from launching any preemptive sorties whilst we seek to put our plans in motion. I will gladly lend my support to any endeavor that could spare the blood of my countrymen, but I would know more of the cause you would have me champion. Will you not share aught of this mysterious undertaking? Know that I have offered my lance to aid in this endeavor. I cannot claim that its success is assured, but our actions should serve to delay Nidhogg's advance at the very least. Which is more than can be said for the ill-conceived counter-attack advocated by the sea's more vocal crusaders. They offer glorious death, but little hope of victory. Aye, their proposal does not inspire confidence. Our resources should rightly be spent shoring up the city's defenses. Hmm. The Azure Dragoon and the Warrior of Light sallying forth together to face the Dreadworm Nid. What kind of a headset did you get? Like, I'm actually, I'm still using like these dumbass earplugs that I bought for like 10 bucks. Um, and I hate them. So I, I, I might be looking for a new headset. An actual good one. Um, which I can also like put everything on so I can hear myself speak. And there's a volume wheel? Oh... I must admit, the mere thought of it does much to dispel my misgivings. Go then. Carry out your plan. I shall do what I can for you within the Holy See. Having secured Sir Emmerich's support, we may 
proceed without fear of a preemptive Ish Guardian attack. Which is not to say we can afford to... Ditter? History tells us that the Ravonians will attack as soon as their horde reaches a critical size. Before this happened, we must need strike down and win over Lady Iceheart and then locate and parley with Nidhogg. In short, time is against us. If you are ready, uh, Estian, let us be about our task. Alright, let's go! Um, you have a G432. I was looking at something else, but eh, who knows. Like, it will be a while before I actually get it. Look at this, a round bloody table. He's a Dark Knight as well. Such commotion. Yes, your eminence. The bells of the observatorium warn of our enemy's approach. So, the dragons are coming. Let them come, in their hundreds and their thousands. With the divine blade in our hands, we shall rend their flesh and drown the heretics in their master's blood. Even Nidhogg and his foul brood shall be powerless to resist us. And when we have rid the world of their pestilence, we shall turn our attention to our Asian allies. See that they are suitably rewarded for their invaluable assistance. But what, what's, what's up with the, uh, the scroll wheel for the volume? If I may, Your Eminence. The Paragons wield powers strange and unknowable. Can we be certain that they will not see through our deception? We can be certain of naught save the righteousness of our cause. If you would be a true leader of men, you must possess conviction as well as caution. We seek to excise the root of an evil that has blighted us for a thousand years. The risk is worth the reward. Uh, me neither, and I think I would not be in favor of it. And what of Estinian and this warrior of light? They have plans of their own. Leave them to their purpose. We must each play the role we have been given. You and your chosen brothers, most of all. For the glory of King Thordip. Okay. Yeah, same. Uh, I, I would have done the same. Like, I have the, 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 the Go XLR thing over here, which controls basically everything for me. Uh, and I can have sliders. I, I don't like that I'm just sitting there and there's this wheel that, that I'll be turning. Oh, it sounds... it feels weird. And uh, we get a wind-up Elfie Nod. How nice! Before we set forth, we must need to inform Tataru of our plans. Then I shall wait, await you at the Saint Returns Forum. Tell your friends we may be some time. The road you have chosen is neither short nor easy. Of that, I need no reminding. Come daily, let's head for the house for that manner. Okay. Okay, well, I was actually going to teleport, but that is kind of counterproductive. Uh, lost vigil.
Our course is set, Tataru. It may be some time before Dahlia and I return to Ishgard. Well, just you be careful, right? Oh, and don't worry about me. I'll be busy listening out for news of our lost friends. If anyone can find them, it's you, Tataru. Farewell for now. Oh, oh, before you go, uh, you must put this on off. You know? I made it especially. No, no, I could not possibly. Ugh, very well. Yeah, th th this is going to be a so much a better looking gear piece. By the 12, it fits perfectly and it's quality. It's actually rather good. I'm glad you liked it. I've been practicing my needlework while I listened to rumors and the like. A good receptionist is always learning new skills. My thanks, Tatru. Whatever else awaits me upon the road, I shall not fear the cold. It was the least I could do. Now, you must be getting back to the tavern or I'll never catch up with all of the gossip. Good luck on your journey. And I don't get shit. <laughs> of course I don't. Well, he looks way better now. Alright, let's search for Esselstyn. Of Estil, Esselstyn, whatever. I'm horrible at names. Yeah, the forum, okay. Um. Okay, let's do this one and then when I'm ready, I'm going to be picking up the machinist. So if this finish it, we'll pick up the machinist. Uh, we're ready to depart. I suggest we begin search for Lady Ice without delay. Very well. And we've proven a elusive quarry. Where do I need to intend to start looking? I think we'll go where we last saw her. In the absence of any fresh intelligence on Isale's movement, I propose we pick up the trail where we last encountered. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we go where we were. Let us speak with Sir Redward, was it? As the commander of Falcon's Nest, it is like that he will know if any heretic activity has been reported in the area. Let's do it differently. Let's see if it actually... No, 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 go away. We could just use him. It doesn't cost us money. Let's just use it once. Because last time we done this, it actually just cut this part out. And it, it, it's... It, it, it's sad. You know, we, we get a bit of a lay of a land thing going on. Seems like a wing. Big ass bridge. There's Falcon's Nest. Windmills? Oh yeah, of course, this is... Uh, this 15 years ago, this was not a icy, icy land. Is that a dragon? Looks like one. Mm. Alright, cool. Yeah, okay, we saved 160 gil. Aren't we happy? Well, well, what business brings you back to Falcon's Nest? Judging by your companion you keep, it cannot be no, it can be no trifling matter. The Azure Dragoon, I know, of course, but I do not believe I have met this young gentleman. Alphinot Lavagneur, at your service? And you are not mistaken as to the gravity of our mission, Sir Redwald? As I am sure you are aware, the Observatorium has warned 
that the Ravanians are gathering for another assault. We believe there may yet be a way to avert the common conflict, but only if we can find that elusive Lady Iceheart. Thus, have we come to Falcon's Nest in the hope of acquiring the latest intelligence on the heretic's movement? I see. When you would best, uh, then you uh, would be best served by speaking directly to my men. A patrol is due to return from the sweep of the surrounding lands at any moment. You may also wish to question the knights assigned to pick up over the uh, remains of the heretic refugee of the heretic refuge at Gorgan's Mills. It's possible they have unearthed information that could be of use to you. Uh, Mr. Fix knows well the place I speak of, for it was she who first discovered it. Let us divert our forces then. I will stay and await the return of the patrol while the two of you visit the refuge. When I have completed my inquiries, I will join you there. Can we use a porter to get there? A wise use of a time, yeah. Um, let's go. Can we use a port to get there? That would be... Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, no. The foundation is in Ishgard, so that's not helpful. That means... Hey, there's a blue quest over here. Bridge over the frozen water. And that brings us to an ether current. Yeah, that, that would be nice. Do you have a moment to talk? A short while ago, one of the workers from House uh, de Mazel asked me to go and deal with some... Melonians... Melodons? That have been causing trouble. The Black Iron Bridge barely survived the calamity. It is in a desperate need of repairs, but the upland... Melodons roam far close to it. The craftsmen can't work safely. N someone needs to kill them. Um, the Melodons, that is, not the craftsmen. Okay. I'd ask the dragons to do it, but they're too busy. Wait, I asked the dragoons to do it, but they're so busy. It'd be weeks before they found the time. I do it myself, but there's. So many of the beasts that I fear I'll be swarmed and outnumbered. You're a capable woman. Would you be so kind as to thin them out somewhat? If you were to kill, say, three of them, I think I'd be able to finish off the rest myself. Alright, let's also use the Aoife Compass. 130 north west. North west, so that's over there somewhat. Seventy three. I think it's over there. South. What? Did I just walk past them? Oh, wait, it's over there somewhere. Oh, I'm an idiot. The compass. Seventy three. Oh, there we go. That's it. Still not open. No, they're not. They're annoying. They're always in the way. They're never right. So if I go to travel... 
So there's four. There is in the quest line. There. The, the, so if you follow the quests, there would be one, two, three, four, five. And I'm thinking. Or these are the main quests, and these are the quests that you can pick up. So the blue quests will give you these five and the other one. And if you get all of these, you can fly. So we'll head towards the bridge. Because we needed to go to the left there anyways. And now we can use the compass, and it should tell us 895. Extension cables, yeah. Okay, w what is your brand? W what kind of a headset do you use? Maybe it's more important. And this is that where we were actually with um, the heretics. Uh, Senna is uh, damn. It, it sounds expensive. Six hundred eighty. Okay, so to the west there is one of them. So it would be like uh, at the end of mid. Uh, it's down here. God damn it! I knew it. I knew it. Now we have to go back. Well, we'll just teleport. I think it's the that they need to be. Is it them? Oh no! Oh no! I'm an idiot! Oh, God damn it! Yeah, it's up. Oh. <laughs> yep, great. Uh. Can I get up here? This is a very good looking bridge though. I like the look of it. It's these guys. Yeah, it's them. Yeah, let's get a few. Let's just get free. Free it up. Where the hell is he going? He reset it. Bastard. Oh, he didn't. He's back. What the hell is your problem, dude? Alright, let's just uh, not care anymore. See, I'm, I'm getting hit, and that's the the, uh, the delay.
Wait, it's over there? Oh, I thought it would be over there in the settlement. Interesting. Oh, we have one 331 moms to the north. Okay, there is the currency. We'll take that one first. Yeah. Alright, so the, the lower one is we'll just find. The other one is by quest. So we just did that one quest. We need to return it and then we'll get this one. So there's only four doing by the quest. The rest is blue quest. So I'm going to assume we'll get another blue quest from this expedition leader. Ah, uh, findings you say. Well, there is something of a tale here. No sooner had we chanced upon a promising looking sheaf of letters that we were ambushed from the shadows by, by a great white beast. It would seem the heretics foresaw our coming. And left behind their pets to discourage further investigation. Several of our number were badly wounded. And you cannot carry out your duties until the creatures are slain. We have not the time to wait for reinforcements. Let us deal with these pets ourselves, Daily. Alright, let's go in. Let's go deal with pets. Uh, that's a very dead pet. Oh, it's a young T tamed polar bear, tamed war bear. That's easy. Uh, now what? Uh, I actually would assume we would to uh, bring letters forward, but apparently it seems not the case. Oh, he's also back. The beasts are slain then, my thanks. We may return to our duty without fear of mewling. And that is it, guys. Oh, that's that's as far as I'll go right now. We'll uh, we'll return to deliver the quest. And then next time we'll uh, I'll make sure I'll be here when we actually get started. And I will pick up the machinist. I can actually pick it up right now. We've got a few minutes. Um, you've already killed three of them. Thank, thank you ever so much. You're not injured, are you? Here, please take this. It will cut of the fee. It's your cut of the fee for the work. Incidentally, did you happen to see a farm on the far side of the bridge? Um, those... Mylodons have made it difficult to access that area, and the bridge has been left to fall apart. After we repair the bridge, one day we might be able to rebuild that farm. Sure. Okay. Ether current, and that is one. There is another one over there. We'll eventually, we'll fill up all of them. Um, you should be actually seeing all of them. I'm sure we'll get one in that settlement and this one over here. And there's another dungeon as well. Uh, let us return to Ishgard. Let me sign for the Elven then. Because it might be a grit. Yeah, probably. But, you know, I have some stuff. I got, I got, a, it got weekend shifts coming up. Like, I have time. I have time to actually level that one up. 
Um, foundation. Quickly pack that up. I'm actually happy that I did not have any problems today with my audio. Uh, apart from the notifications of uh, like followers and stuff, it's being it's quite loud, and I might need to trim it down a bit more. But still, I, I like having those noises, you know. Let's go over here. Let's pick up the machinist's job. Uh, want another test that depends mate because I don't want to put you in a position you don't want to be in so don't do things you don't want to do let's go here very ominous music today isn't it wait manufacturing merchant Wait, 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 are you selling weapons? Damn. Not bad. Yeah, it's loud. Holy crap, it's loud. Thank you so much for the sub, dude. I appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. Seven months. Damn, dude. Thank you. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. So let's talk to this fella. Hmm. My... From oh my god, Prospectorometer seems rather fond of you. Let's see, shall we? Old Garp, striking presence. Would I be right to assume that you're one of those adventurous types? Oh, he looks cool though. I like the gear. Though, ah, uh, I thought as much. My Prospectometer seldom lies. And let us say you have made the right choice in visiting our humble workshop. Um, welcome to the Sky Steel Manufactory, where miracles are born from ether, metal, and imagination. From cannons to ballista, we develop and manufacture a range of weapons designed for slaying dragon invaders. But we also accept students who wish to take up a firearm and learn the techniques of the machinist. What say you? Are you interested in joining us and exploring the machinist discipline? Sure. Uh, you are? Well, of course you are. Otherwise, my prospectometer would not have registered your obvious interest. Ah. In my excitement, I've neglected to introduce myself. The name is Stevanivin. 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 Why couldn't it just be Stefan? Stefan. What? We will call you Stefan from now on. Stefan the. Oh dear. Heliari. And you are. A mouthful. kidding me yeah there we go level 30 toad skin jacket it's a french name i think yeah how can it still be your language the soul of the machinist a carbine interesting actually i'm very uh, daily is it well daily allow me to welcome you once more to the sky feel sky steel manufactory as i mentioned before it's chance to develop and manufacture weapons designed for slaying dragon invaders and blah, 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 blah. we already know this the future lies in machinery a technology that wets a genius of master garlemans magitech with traditional IFA technology every single one of my latest cre uh, creations employ the principles of this unique disciple and in the steady hands of a trained machinist my new inventions are going to alter the very face of warfare though i would dearly love to expand upon my revolutionary uh, theories we should begin by familiarizing you with the tools of the trade so to speak have you time now for a brief lesson well depends 
all Elism names are friends. Yeah, I, I've got the same, and uh, I, 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 I struggle with French, man. Struggle hard with French. My highest score, like when I was at school, was one point three. You're just giving me the stuff for what? Splendid. Now the first thing you must learn is the proper technique for handling a fuck. Hmm. Where in the hells is our master of marksmanship? I swear the man is never about when we need it most. My score was not selecting French. Fuck oh, yeah, dude. I didn't select French as well. Though if you... The, the stupid thing is if you... In mathematics, if you had a... Uh, a, a six plus you would be assigned to French if you had a, a a negative score on your mathematics you need to pick up more mathematics so I got fucked over how dreadfully embarrassing we uh, here I mercenarily procured uh, your interest and now I must ask you to call again at a later convenience mayhap the next time you visit our instructor will be will died in putting uh, in an appearance when we can outfit you with the equipment necessary to learn basic marksmanship and I will I might explain to you the particulars of the machinist profession mm, I'm afraid he's gone for good this time your lordship left a letter of resignation on your workbench and all all right well the, the guy quit who the f who are you and what's up with your ears Whoa. That sounded like... Yeah, I know. I know. You know, after the first year, they kind of realized their mistake. When I got a 1.3. And they were like, yeah. Yeah, maybe this isn't a good idea after all. I'm like, yeah, maybe it isn't. I got this teacher. She came into the class not explaining anything. She came into the French like blah 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 but then French. And I was like, yep, yeah, you lost me. Already. First day of the year. I'm like, yep, yeah, this is not going to end well. I'm dyslectic. Like I can English I need a grammar check. I cannot speak German. I can tiny tiny bit understand it. And 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 Dutch. Oh boy, and then they gave me French. I'm like, oh, I hate you guys. Confound the man, we cannot afford to lose such a pivotal employee at this crucial uh, conjure in our growth. Oh yeah, prepare my accordments. I shall drag that scoundrel back to the bulls if he... Ne oh wow, I think he's funny, but me lordship, we ain't ever such... Where to start looking? Why is this Heidi looking character over there? Before we know, we'll start yodeling. You make a sadly point, my dear. Hmm. My prospectometer points to the lands of La Nostra. Ah, yes. I should have realized that he would return to his homeland. La Nostra? My lordship, are you sure you want to go there? I hear it's a nasty place where folk will scout you across the face as soon as they look at you. Yeah, they will beat you silly, man. Oh well, I must have tired this little familiarity with this, with its environment. Hank, join the prospect of the chip. Ah, oh, come on, dude. He's he's weird. But of course, our inspiring machinist. We shall have the worldly daily here act as our guide for an explorer who has braved the hardest, the hardest corners of Eorzea, the wildest, the wilds of of Lenosia must be akin to a garden path. Is that not so? Yeah, it's a garden path. Aye. Yeah, it's pretty much like... Uh, yeah, well, yeah. You see, my prospectometer never steers me, Ari. We will consent to guide us then daily. <laughs> Saddle. Joy here, in addition to her royal service to the house, it's the finest shot in the manufactory. 
as a novice machinist, I suggest you mark her technique well during our little jaunt to Linosia. Speaking of which, we must we must need to decide upon a somewhat less vague desecration a uh, destination. Ah. I seem to recall our absent instructor mentioning the companions of a camp overlook. Oh, okay. Let that be our very first board call. Can do I get the stuff? Bloody joking. I'm hoping this is going to be quite fast. Don't want to be a party pooper. Oh, there he is already. The weirdo enjoy. Ah, indeed. Uh, so, this is Camp Overlook. Indeed, its inhabitants do seem the type to clout a man in the face in place of a in the face in place of a how do you do? Shall we make some inquiries after our prematurely retired instructor? Let us rendezvous at this spot once we have gathered what intelligence we may. Usually they just give you a weapon. You know? Usually. A grinning private. A bloke later in Ishgard, aye. There was a strange come about asking after one of our lads. Told I'm sorry, uh, told the sorry thought was looking f uh, the sorry thought he was looking for was in a cabin by the lift, rest, resting up from an axe wound. Oh, the instructor is looking for his son. I'm going to assume it's his son, because I honestly don't know. You mean the big Roganian bastard? You'll find him packing the broads in front of the infirmary. Some of the lads seem to know the bloke, but no bugger seems eager to say, oh. Eh? Wait. Is he my commander then? No. I have seen him alright. Got itself a cold reception too. You can't come apologizing for a deed a decade old and just expect to be forgiven. How fed your investigation of interrogation? It would seem our man came here but to visit an old acquaintance. Uh, in the vicinity of which you say, let us investigate his infirmary then. Give me my weapon, dude. Wait, this is the infirmary? I'll be honest, I've never been on this bridge. He has a pistol. This is the guy. Were the conditions of your employment not satisfactory? Return with us to the manufactory and we can discuss a more favorable term. I understand that he is guardian present, uh, presently a court machinist rather less than the respect they deserve. But I promise you, our worth shall shine through in due time. People will clamor to learn our profession. You cannot abandon us now, oh dear lord. Rostach, think of the future. We we'll call him Rost. Okay, shoot him in, in the face. Leave me be. One more step, and I'll blow your yapping jaws off. 
Of course this is a pirate. Uh, Joy, if you please. Uh, what the fuck? Fuck yeah, I like it. That's a fucking good picture. Don't trust Heidi. Yeah, no f shit. Yeah, those names aren't even better. This is, uh, it's, it's good looking though. You shite eating bastard. Next time I'll eat for the sh. She's, she just saying she wants to shoot him in the dick. The shaft twitched your tights. So shoot him in the dick. Fuck, she's brutal. I didn't know she could hit something that tiny. Are you not proud? It was you who taught Joy everything she knows about shooting. And spitting colorful profanity besides. Aye, the last learned me lesson well. Well enough to be your new master of marksmanship, I wager. No sh- oh, come on! Yeah, yeah, he told her too much. I agree. You think so? Oh no, Joy is far too busy with a study, with a duty at the manor house. Sure, her duty. Look at that grin. And besides, we have this budding machinist who's simply dying to learn from the great Rost. Oh, he is. I want to punch him in the face. Oh yeah, there you go. She gets her dicks blown off. Buffalo shite. Any crack who knows me would rather I did the dying? Any cracks who's known me would rather I did the dying. Oh, just look at you. The inf uh, the infotome of a roguish wash buckler. Why ever did you cease brandishing your weapon in that fashion? Cause only pirates come hold a firearm like this. It and I ain't gonna teach the machinist way to no hopeless Sausage fingered. Wait, a sausage fingered adventure? I'm not fat! But you're dragging off the street. Then you are saying that our sausage finger adventurer shows a glimmer of hope. You will consent to instructing her. You idiot. Did you hear that, Daily? This is your chance to display your attitude of the marksmanship. I think he meant to say your fingers are too slender to wield it. Anyway, you know, if do you ever it's say I don't know? Okay, if I look at my fingers, I'm not saying like they're sausage fingers. I think they're normal fingers. If I look at you know, if if they look like double it, too experienced. Ah, fuck no, I don't buy it. He's just calling me fat, I'm going to kill him. Here, I took the liberty of packing some extra tools of the trade, convincing our reluctant instruction that you're serious in your intentions. Too inexperienced. Oh, okay. Holy shit, man, he's having this tiny hand pistol, and I'm getting a carbine. Hmm. You've got the look of a Lumingian. I started in Limsa, dude. 
I hate the pirate language. Let me shoot him. Fine. I'll give this whelp one bloody chance. One lesson to see what she's made of. The fate of the Skyfall Manufacturing A, the very future of the machinery, is in your sausage-fingered hands. Take up your weapon and aim for the stars. Aim for his stars and shoot him and take up. Start as a marauder. Yeah. I started as a marauder. And I, I hated every time of it. Quest completed. That was my very, very first, um, that was my daily fix, the first character on this server. I started as an arcanist. Yes. There you go. A lot of skills, but I'm not going over them right now. I have some stuff to do. Uh, so... I don't like my pens. At all. I hate them. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. But this is where we are going to be parting ways for now. I'll be back um, Thursday. Tuesday, actually. Tuesday in the midday. Uh, no, I'm not. Not Tuesday in the midday. Tuesday night. Because I'm skipping the night. I have a meeting on Thursday. Thursday. It's not Tuesday. It's Thursday. After Wednesday. That's when I will we'll be back. Hurrah for Glamour's. It's true that, man. True that. Anyways, have a great time, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.